Alrighty, hello everyone to the Zat September tournament. Um, I was kind of taking a look, just kind of to look at an overview of this. It looks like um, a starting map this time is going to be D73. Interesting one. Um, I kind of haven't been practicing. Uh, I it's been a kind of busy last two months for me, but um. I'm hoping to maybe pull something out of the hat. Top 8 is my goal for today, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, anyway, uh, for anyone who is participating in the tournament, uh, just a reminder that you have to check in in order to actually get in, so I'll go ahead and do that if you haven't already. We can kind of see who's going to be in this tournament. We have, I'll kind of just go through, and I'll tell you who I'm kind of scared for here. But we have Rolly, Star Rising, Armani, Hidden 2, Ooh. I don't know Hidden 3, but he's a hidden, so he's gotta be scary. Um, let's look through this a bit. Also, almost 300 people registered. That's crazy. So, glad to see these turns are still big hits. But let's keep going. And then, yeah, you can see these little check marks here. That just means they've checked in. But, Let's continue. What is this? Viewing by any chance? Don't know. If it is, I'm extremely scared of that. If not, then it could still be very good. Ah, uh, Ares. Classic. Very scared of him. Honestly, I think he's going to be my favorite to win today. Him or Rolly. We'll see who wins, but. Um, continue looking at this. Florida man, nice to see him still playing the game. Don't say yeah, that seems awfully familiar. Something else we got. Don't recognize too many of these names, which is good. It's nice to see new players. Um, I think I've heard of Ethan Boy before, but not too much. Lexi, or Lo Loha, Loha, my bad. Loha Sochi. Nice to see you participating here. I might have missed some people. D-Bomb, classic, DI78, another classic. Oh yeah, thank you, Gia. And yes, uh, I will be warming up here in a sec. I'm just kind of taking a look at the competition. Uh, Vampire, he's going to be good. Him, really, and um, Ares. Max is also very good. Hidden 4? Where are all these hiddens coming from? All right, here we go. Oh, and Z-Suns. Oh, gosh. That's going to be... I think I know the top 4, but... We'll see how it goes, because who knows what happens in these tournaments. What are these out of again? Let's check this out. I think these are out of five, right? Yeah, best of five. Okay, cool. cool. Alrighty. Well then, on that note, let me a little hopping game here. Alright, nice. So, um, just a... I want to see the map again. I think I have a strategy for this map because I took a brief look at it earlier. Let's see. Sunday, Sunday there we go. So, it's like, who's even online right now? There's a lot of people. Fun. Alright, cool. Well, I will just use an expert pop for now. And I think for the start strap, we're going to be using Morrow. I think Morrow is a very strong on map. So we'll see if I'm going to pull this I'm going. So I think my strap will be... And then you can see I instantly get up my first here. And I'm pretty sure what I'd do is do something like this, depending on what they do. I'll just kind of chill here. 
but the expert bot isn't letting me do that. But I should still be able to try it out as long as he moves to a five at some point. So I'm gonna... Yeah, so he's not doing this, right? So I'm pretty sure I take this and three is left. When I take it. Let's see if my math's right. Never mind, 13. Alright. Okay. Expert bot. But. Try it. I should have done that. Should be in there in time. Nope, I was not in there in time. Extra bot. Kind of. Difficult. <laughs> Who would have thought? Now we're all up tap. Ooh, let's defend it. Let's do that. Put in there. So I think my strategy on this map is just going to be these. Uh, what I like about Mario is I have a lot of different things I can do. For instance, I can um, do my first towards this bottom half of the map here. Um, I could always wait for my third and then do a push on the forge or push on his tower. Or I could just wait for my fourth and take away his tower, which just really separates the map because you'll probably have this building right here, the one that I'm sending to, and then he might have a lower um, something going on here where he might have these buildings that I'm sending to. So if I put my fourth here, it really isolates it, which allows me to basically put all my troops here and go in for attacks. So I think that's going to be my strength today. Which looks like only you guys, Jeanette and Gaia, will know because no one else is here. So inside look at my strat. <laughs> so speaking of, I guess let's just warm up playing some while. Oh, wait, I don't want to do me too. Oh, take it back. Um, I'll see if Hidden wants to warm up, or if someone wants to warm up. Let's see. Oh, we got a game. Let's run in here real quick. So I've lied. I haven't played too long, as I said earlier, so I might be very rusty, so bear with me here. He's going pretty aggressive down there. This is a real person, not a bot anymore. Should hold it. I'll take it back after for sure. Okay, good. Good hold. Okay. I think I'll just take this. I mean, he wasn't paying too much attention, but it seems like something we can do. There we go. I'm on his fourth right there, never mind. I was going to do a third play, but I guess I won't. It's probably going to rage, which means my only counterplay to rage is stealing his rage. Oh, okay, there's that was not, not the best fourth, but we will capitalize for sure. He doesn't have a forge either, so that's going to be... Very good for me. Okay, I didn't even need to use another one. Nice. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go message to the mother real quick. Is he hidden behind that? Um, what happened? What is this? Oh god, I can't believe I'm blanking on this. Is it Zoro who else? And... Oh god, Zoro's hidden too. Who is he? Let's see, it should be in my thing. M75! That's one thing. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot. Let's see if 
if he responds. Let's see what we're doing on time here. Oh, we're doing good. It's going to be hard to take that. I should get it right here with the snake. Oh, good read. I think I'm just going to fourth this tower. I'll save up for that. Oh no, we're just upgrading a bit. Oh, this guy ain't bad. This guy ain't bad at all. This is going to be a good game. That sucks for him. He might fourth me. Yeah, there we go. Climb it up, up. No! There we go. Yeah. Okay, that was a little poorly executed on my part, but probably got that. Nice. Grab that. Some troops over here. I guess we'll hit it earlier too. See your response. Got three feelies for warm ups, other than just playing random people online. It was all mine right now, I guess. Is Bo in this tournament by any chance? That's scary. Did it? No. Ooh, I, I don't remember who was the last one. Oh, this guy again. Let's check it out. Alright, this guy. That was... Okay, it'll work. It'll work. Not the most optimal opener. Yeah, I'll barely take that, but I get that, get that. This now. 100%. It's fine for now. Let's get this now. Oh, that's very scary. That's a lot of troops there. But I don't know if I can deal with it. Okay, he's gonna get that, but I am gonna get. Oh, but his second's just strong. I think what I want to try to do. Uh, he's gonna have his third up. I might not be able to do that. I'm such a defensive hero, and. Man, Ops kind of a good counter tomorrow, honestly. I'm just gonna upgrade. I don't think he'll be able to take that from me, and I should be able to um, cauldron his forge if he does spin after me. Too hard. That was what we got to do. 
this might not work, but we'll give it a try here. Alright, so he's gonna go there now. See if he overreacts. He didn't enough slow yet. Okay, we're in. He did not use any abilities there. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoops. Alright. We gotta send a bunch of troops here now. Actually, wait, that's very good. So 100%. So this will be an interesting situation. Oh, I got it. All right, cool. Man, that guy is very, very close to being pretty dang good. He has, he has a lot of good intuition. He was reading my movements. He's like, oh, I think he's gonna go here. It's just he was a little on the slow side right there. He needed to like um, take some troops out or use an ability, and he just kind of he must have panicked because there's so many troops. So. But, Great potential. I was a little spooked when he was able to read my movements. I was like, oh. Alright, let's do this. So this map. Um, I'm Moro, and I have a good first, but so does he. So I think I want to be aggressive. And he lost two troops, that's huge. If he upgrades, I push. Upgrade, you know you want it. Boom. That should be game. Now I just gotta look out for his first. That's fine, yeah, he loses his main production. That's game over. To be fair, he... Meh, it's probably over, because I just have so much room to expand. Yeah. But, he got, he got the upgrade in. If it was just a level 1, it's over, over. But he had a level 2, so it could have possibly done something. But fine. Alright. Continuing on with the warm-up. 10 minutes here before the tournament starts, aka until brackets start forming. And then we can actually check his check in. Honestly, after this, I'll probably, I feel pretty good with my moral right now. But then again, that might be just because I'm playing random people on ranked. So maybe I can beat random people on ranked tomorrow, but maybe not like Aries. Uh, that might be a little early. Okay, I take it. Let's find out, man. Again. He also didn't screw up. Let's see, how is this going to work out? I've only got my third. Alright, he's upgrading. Shouldn't have the troops. But uh, he could get a fourth, which would suck. This prime I'm gonna have to make an attack. Oh, never mind, he just quit. Oh, hello, sexy Dora. What is up? How are you doing? <laughs> Actually, wait, I don't wanna do it. Uh, let's see. I feel like I should warm up my Trini. I'll probably be playing Trinity at some point. Oh. This map's fun. I think, it, is, it, is this map banned or... I don't know, I feel like what something could do if it's not banned is like, practice it to the nth degree. And, like, because I know most people when they play this are just, like, attempting and trying their best to 
do the fire, just like, oh shoot, that's my bad. Um, I made a small mistake, that should have been a forge earlier. But let's just let's through real quick. Okay. That needs to be a forge. Like I, I know like minor timings where it's like, oh, I know if I send the things at that time, I know I can get through. But you can probably get super good at the little minute details, which is pretty cool. No, it's not too bad. Well, okay, that was like a double prong attack. Oh shoot, I did not see that. I need troops over there. Do I get that? I do get that. Uh, he doesn't have a forge, which is good. We hold. We hold. Let's go. Morale. Well, she's going to get that, but I should take this other thing. Actually, I should be able to. He just has no morale. I can just push in. He needs a good first here in order to defend us. Oh, he's a little late. He had the right idea, though. But now I'll just do this. Why did I use bees? I thought I was going over something. <laughs> That's my bad. Yeah. Oh, hey Tornaz, what's up? Um, it's actually AL for Alpaca. Not AI. <laughs> AI Paca, that would be kinda of funny. That's a that's a good name in the future. Um I guess we'll do this. Yeah, we'll keep going. Oh, I got messages back. Wait, hold up. We might have a warm up partner now. Alright. Who wants to watch me lose? <laughs> We're warming up before LA. Is he on mine? Taking a slight pause here. Uh, it's really a nickname change, or am I crazy? Thought I had about his friends. Thanks for stopping by, Tormaz. It's rare, it's rare to see a Tormaz out there. So that's really cool. I'm glad he was able to stop by. So I have a feeling he's going to be... Oh, he's really one. Oh, let's see. Really one. I, I should have added... He should be added. Oh. Oh. But he should be on. So we'll just wait. But yeah, a little bit about what I'm planning on doing today is uh, I don't think I'm going to win this at all. <laughs> so um, what I'll probably be planning on doing is just going as far as I can. And when I stop, I'll take a look at all the other matches that go on ahead and other like, great matches, try to cast them, slash review them. And that's, I think, what we're going to do today. Uh, oh, the official Mushroom Zor account is also here. Hello. I think Dark Dagger or Tormaz. Let's see this really here. No, not yet. Still waiting. So many people are online, that's what I love about the tournament days, is everyone's just online. Okay, if he's taking this long, maybe we'll just play one when we wait. So, what 
think it is again. I think like that. Yeah, it is like that. I remember. Um, I'm training. I shouldn't upgrade yet because it's a panel. Now I can upgrade. Okay, Rolly is online. So, yep, there's the bat home ability. What if I wait here for a second? I want to take this middle. I think I get it. Come on, let's go. So, I'm really glad I didn't upgrade there, or else I would not have had the troops to do that. Take the middle real quick. Just a poke here. I should have the production behind this to be fine. Yep, now no attack. Please don't pass, which is fine. Make sure yeah, he just doesn't have the morale for this right now. I mean, what is? Let's just end this real quick, and then we'll move on to Rolly, and I will get destroyed. <laughs> hey. Good game, Salamdong. To be fair, I did like his speed of play, and he had pretty good snakes. So, fairly good. Alright, here we go. It's Rolly time. I say as he is. Maybe I'll just reset real quick. Let's try that real quick. Yes, one we won't come today. Just probably a glitch, but we'll see. Or maybe he's not. I did reset, so maybe he needs to reset. Oh, look at that! I just uh, not to flex, but cool, hundred percent win right? Let's go. Rolly's giving you the countdown of 3G1 until he's online. There we are. Oh, that's not custom, so <laughs> there we are. Alright. Let's do this. Ugh. Morrow time. Oh, Pixel? There is some fun Pixel things on this map, but that can be done. So let's see what's better. So the question is, do I kill his bottom? Oh, shoot. Uh, am I being too late now? Yeah, I was late. Whoops. That's not good. So I'm not going to use my first this time. Even though, uh, okay, I see the pixel strat there. Um, so I gotta wait. I can't just attack my forge yet. Or else all my units will die. Because pixels are rude, rude boy. Yep, there it is. In fact, I actually might just let him. Might get, yeah, he's gonna get bold, isn't he? I probably should have sent out, but.
not doing anything crazy, so we should be fine here. We are winning this right now. He's gonna get that, but that's fine. I got two towers now and a pretty well defended forge, so I'm not. This ain't going too badly. I just wanted to it's a little methodical push in here. I'll try not to hemorrhage too much here. Honestly, we actually are winning. Nope, oh, here's the big attack here. It's going to my main, yep. I'll say that's really fine. You can take that. So what I'm gonna do here is just do that. Let's go. Okay, I feel I'm re I feel really strong about my strat here. I really like I, I just like Murrow on that map, man. Uh, we'll see if he wants the same map. I don't want to practice on this map. Because I... Listen, we all know this is the closest map. But this is just a nice little macro, just like making sure I have mechanics down. Because you have to do so much. All, all these looking. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. On still. Alrighty, Amaro's I'm using Burrow on that map, so you know what? We'll do a still one here. <sighs> okay, let's see, do I remember how to play this map? Answer is surprisingly maybe. Oh shoot, I'm totally gonna lose that one. Let's go. Okay. We, we are not doing as badly as I thought we might do it here. Mm -hmm. okay, I should. It'll be interesting. Do I get it? I do get it back. Do I hold it? The answer is probably maybe. The answer is surprisingly yes. What? Alright. I could have used that third for a better thing, but that's fine with me. Alright. Let's macro up here. Ok, 
Okay, where can I attack you? Can I see it? Yeah, you have the exact same idea, but I read it first, so now I get a free attack to where I want to go, which will be that bottom left there. I don't want to attack too hard. Actually, you know what? I'm waiting for my third. So I just have the morale advantage. Ah, I probably should have used it. No idea. Let's see. Okay, here we go. I have an idea here, actually. Okay, we want him to use... Oh, actually, we'll just take that. Oh, he got it back? Damn, never mind. Should be fine? Yeah. Man. <laughs> I can't believe I'm defending so well. Alright, let's see, what is he doing? Ah, oh, he's going for an attack. I see. That's pretty smart. I should take that back. I say as I don't take it back. My truth to be out of my man. I need the troops! I think he's got me here. Please! Let me in! Let me in! I'm slowly losing my troop count here. But I am holding. Okay. Let's time him out. <laughs> um, okay, I need to get that real fast here. Oh, come on! I'm hemorrhaging. That's game. Dang, okay. That was a very good game. Whew, okay, I get he beats me in mechanics. I think by uh, by just a little bit, not too much, just a bit. Um, but hello, enter entertaining for this section. Welcome to the stream. Um, all right, let's play another map. Let's do this map. I love this map. Um, I do have Pixel. But, I'm gonna go in here. I need to warm up in here. Oh, excuse me. In there, in there. Say less, let's do it. A very middle central strat here. We'll get production in a sec here. I think just taking the middle here is very important, so I'm gonna focus on that right away here. Not get the snake off, so I'm able to defend now. If you got the snake off, it's scary, but I'm winning right now, so all I gotta do is make sure I stay ahead. Which is easier said than done. Considering Oh, 
function. Can I get another? I can, I can get a little bit of more. I'll keep it, of course, but... It's kind of fine. I'm gonna make these as fourth here. like no true counts, so I should be able to get in there. And honestly, I just need to decimate his production a bit, and it should be an easy one. Let's go! <clears throat> Whew! Alright! <laughs> We're not doing too bad! Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you, Sexy Dora. I appreciate it. I think that's the closest I can get from a compliment from you. Oh, bracket is ready. Uno second, por favor. Let's take a look. What is our bracket looking like? Do I have a match? Question mark. What is my seed? Alright. So, uh, who is this? The number one seed. Lexi's number eight. Neha number nine. Rolly number four. Rolly's number four. Maybe it has been a long two months. Let's see. Bakhtar? Oh, Bakhtar's here. That'll be a good one. The real Witcher, Focus Bomb. Aha! 10th seed? Oh, I'll take a 10th seed. So, I think we got this match. On Brain Wrecker, I think he'll pull through. Or maybe E Ray, I don't know E Ray. I only recognize Brainy Wrecker. So, we'll see. Then that puts me in the same bracket as Focus Bomb and Hidden 4. Hidden 4, interesting. Um, I'm getting kind of cold. Give me one sec here. I'm gonna turn off my AC. Uh. All right, here we go. So, um, focus on our hidden four. Uh, let's zoom out a bit here. So that's for whoever wins this area, and I think that's top eight, right? Whoever wins between that, me and him, will be top eight. Oh god. Computer, hello, there we go. So then, yeah, so whoever wins between that, we have top eight. And then, who do I have to play if I want to go? Bogtok, okay. I think it's gonna be Bogtok, let's see. Um, Florida Man, cool. But yeah, I think it's gonna be I have to beat Bogtok, which will be interesting. I don't think I've ever played him. At least recently. Maybe I played it when I played PC, but I don't think it was around. But whoever gets wins that becomes top four. And then from there, um, whoever wins this gets top two. So this, whoever wins this bracket, which, oh, Vampire, fun. Because I think Vampire is going to win this triangle. But Mihai, Mi, or Mihai, Mihai almost beat me the last tournament I played in. That was scary. Um, But let's see what he can pull through with. Uh, Di seventy eight here. Oh, Z sense is here. Z sense is rated or er, was seated below me. Interesting. I definitely think Z sense is better than me. So this will be an interesting little two triangles here because it'll be vampire versus either Z sense or Di seventy eight. So that'll be fun. So then, so basically, I think my tough games are going to be against Focus Fun Hidden. Um, where are the games we're at? I think I'm gonna lose our focus on or hidden. Bok I think I can actually pull through that one, but it'll be a tough one. Bogtok, I'll probably lose, but who knows? I thought I was gonna lose to Rolly, but I was holding my own. 
And then the next one will be Z Sense or Vampire or DI seventy eight. Or Mihai. <laughs> so that's what it's looking like. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's see. Is it really still here? Oh, we'll just play this again, I guess. Um, let me, oops. Back to the game. <sighs> Interesting. Where's Rolly? In this? Cause I'm just curious, because that's the low bracket. What's the top bracket looking like? So, I have no idea who this guy is. So, he could be my personal upset. Even though he's <laughs> uh, seed number one. Interesting. We'll take a look at the back in a sec here. Um, how long do I have till I play? Whenever they're done, which could be up to 45 minutes. Fun. Alright. But we'll continue warming up. See, now that he's not Aner anymore, I don't feel as rushed to take the mid. Though I probably should... Oh, shoot. That was a misclick, but we, it should be fine. We'll take the mid. Move up. Unless he's going for that right now, which would suck. But honestly, I have a lot of troops there. I'm probably fine. Man, he's not going out. Is a okay with me? And he's definitely gonna take the tower. I don't think I stop him from taking the tower. So the way I like to play this as is I like to get that mid forge, and then oh, he's going. He's doing a thing. Oh, he got both. Do I suck? The answer is yes, so please don't answer. I'll just rage into it. Because I'm kind of a little playing on the back foot here. Oh, why did I upgrade that? That was a bad upgrade. Alright, so I gotta... He's got things... I, I gotta wait. I gotta wait. It's his turn. He's going past, which is fine with me. I actually have no idea where he's going. Alright. This might be just the slow push that kills me. Yeah, he still has chickens. It sucks. Okay. This game's probably over, but let's see what we can do here. I need morale. Basically, when he goes for his next attack, I gotta make sure he's going for one building, and I'm gonna attack when he attacks to get his freeze morale, because I think that's the only way to do something this game. So, ball's in his court. Also, I do have my fourth, though. Actually, yeah, maybe I'll fourth, and... Alright, here we go. Let's find chickens down. And I still got rage. Yeah, we're bringing this back. That's exactly what I needed to do there. That was perfect. Alright, he's going again. Where is he going? Looks... Oh, I have no idea. I should defend that one there. Damn, alright. Really, I'm reading you like a book today, man. Let's go. Alright, next time he does it, I do the fire and go myself. Alrighty. 
This is, uh, let's keep this up. Come on. Come on, bro. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, that's really early. Oh, he didn't use it. Okay, that wasn't the best on my part there. Now I'm kind of. I need to get back up to that three star morale, or else it's looking grim. Okay, he's not going down there. Yeah, okay. I'm going for a timeout, really. Oh, come on. I, uh, I saw that really late. That's not good. I'll lose that too. Yeah, that's game. If I can't, ah, I was doing so well too. I got back, I brought myself back in that game, but couldn't keep it. Do you what? Know it is weird. So that will be a one up done. I want to look back at the bracket here. So, really, what, what, what's happened up here? Um, I have no idea who this is. So, again, Zloy, I've heard of before. I think. Um, so I think he. I think he wins it. I, I don't know. I don't know how he plays. I, I really don't know. Or, God Llama Snake. Actually, hold up. Jay's hat's in here. Alright, so it's gonna be. This this triangle, I think, is gonna be between him and the number one seed, whoever he is. Or she. Don't know. And then we have Loha Soshi, who. An Eye Tamer. Uh, isn't Eye Tamer pretty good? I know he he goes on Miki streams quite a bit, but and maybe if this is is this is this is Vuen, then he wins this. But if it's not Vuen, then it's gonna be a bet against these three. I'm not exactly sure. And we have Rolly's corner, which I think Rolly should win. Mind MD has been playing a lot though, so and oh, hidden too. Did not see. How is he? How is he seated so low? What? That's crazy. But uh, hidden two should be playing. Uh, hidden two. That'll be a good match. I will. I will be casting, reviewing, looking at this match because I'm pretty sure hidden two should make it there. Oh wow! Wow. Wait. Max and really play each other right after that. That's crazy. That's. Oh my gosh. That's so rough. Well, I, I'll probably actually look at that game, too. Because I know Max is pretty dang good. What are the... Man, these seeds. I, th I thought the seeding was fixed. Oh, well. Uh, Mind of D. Uh, Stefson. Uh, he's pretty dang good. Actually, last... The, uh, the 2v2 tournament I was in, I underestimated him. I thought him and his partner would be an easy beat for me and Cobra. But then they ended up beating us. So, I will never underestimate stuff with again. Um, also Fossil. He's pretty dang good, so that'll be a fun match. I'll take a look. If, as long as like, someone gets one point there, I'll take a look at it. Um, Bonk Tonks? Yeah, we went over this. So, who do I think is winning this? So, I think Stephenson makes it. Because Fossil? Fossil's pretty good, though. So, I think Stephenson pulls through here. So Stephenson wins this corner for his top eight, right? Yeah, that's his top eight. Um, really, I think really hidden two max. There's this is a tough one to be in, and also mind MD, tough one to be in. But I think Rolly's gonna pull out. 
I think Rolly pulls out. Though, honestly, I see Zero kind of could do things. So that'll be an interesting one here. Who wins this one? But one of those two. Then Loha Sochi probably wins this one, right? Yeah, I think Loha wins this one. And then we go up here. Who? Let's be, let's let's put my let's put our money on JSAD. JSAD's got this. Uh, but yeah, and then uh, him and probably Loha will play JSAD all the way. Roly and um, Roly and who? Stephenson? I think Roly wins. So then we have Roly versus JSAD. JSAD wins, securing his spot in the finals. And then over here, we have me obviously winning this one. Obviously, Boktok winning that. And I think Vampire wins this one. Just want to double check. Yeah, yeah, Vampire wins this one. And then Z Sense. All my money's on Z Sense, man. Man's a monster. Z Sense wins here. So then, Vampire versus Z Sense? As much as I think Vampire is winning, I am rooting for Z Sense. I think, I, honestly, Z Sense can pull through. He's a monster. So I'm saying Z Sense wins. Then we go here. Um, me first, Bok Talk. Of course, I win. And then, uh, of course, there's no. Yeah, yeah, no, I win. <laughs> and then it's gonna be me versus um, Z Sense. So that's gonna be the game of the tournament. Me versus Z Sense. And then it'll be close. It'll be, I'll win probably three two. And then it's gonna be me and Jay set in the finals. And then three zero because llamas are just so much better. Than whatever uh, God Lama, uh, Lama Snack could be, so, and that's how this tournament's gonna go. You heard it here first. <laughs> yes. Hey, right, cool. Well, we'll keep an eye on. Actually, I'm gonna refresh this real quick just to see. I have a score for the people who are playing. Um, oh, two zero. So we're gonna be up here soon. So I'll just quickly. I'll probably just do a quick game. Of just rank, and then we'll move on. <laughs> oh. Just water. Of course, um, I encourage people who are viewing to open up the bracket yourself. If you see a game that you want, you want me to check out, please tell me. I'll definitely take time to check out whatever games you want to check. Have check out. Time to wreck a noob. Oh, interesting. Going for the five first. Bold. So um, I play this map is a little bit different than I think is good, but I don't know. I like it. I'm just gonna go forge first because that's what I like to do. So I'll make this a forge just to get that early twenty. Pretty much the only reasoning behind it. And I would try to take his, but he went for that really early, so I don't think there's any way I can take that five. Just go watch out for the slow. Defense. Oh, it's not gonna send out. Okay. Well, he's just letting me take everything, so I'll just. No, I don't want to upgrade everything yet, because I want to have the troops to defend if he tags, but it looks like he's upgrading everything. So right now, I can still defend. Plus, you know what? I got abilities. We're just going for the biscuit. Oh, shoot. I didn't see that. Now, if I was paying attention, could I have stopped that without using my freeze? Probably. But you see, I am not a wise man. I barely stopped that, I should have. Especially with the um, artifacts, gotta be a little careful there. Alright. Let's, 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 let's go for a blow here. Yes, he's attacking me. Oh shit, I should probably actually defend that. 
Dude, attacking towers is always a risky thing, man. It's so easy to defend, though. Let's go! Easy! Alright, we're gonna take a sec here real quick to take a look at what's happening here. There's four Discord notifications. What the heck's happening? Is it just Russian and English cups being ready? Yep. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright, cool, cool, cool. been told to play yet, so. Oh, I actually have been told to play. Alrighty. Um, let's go say hi to our friend. Um, well, I guess not our friend. Because we kind of will be being rude to him. Oh. Let's see, what's the final score of their match? 3 0. Let's try Adam, because what am I? I'm a higher seed right now. Um, Hyperion. Alright, let's let's not embarrass ourselves on the first game here. Let's make it around three. Oh hello Chini! What is up? We'll see if he's online. Let's do this. Ugh. All right, he's here. Um, let me go switch my stream thing real quick, and let's do it. All right, good luck, have fun, my friend. To be honest, I did like really strat. I think he just expanded a little too quick. Let the picks out. Ooh, Kinoar. Alright, let's do this. Let's get the first dub. Alright, this time I'm gonna send it right away. And I'm gonna script my opening. You know, the use. Oh, I did. Okay. Alright, screwing out the opening again. That's fine. Once he upgrades, I'll price in my thing. I don't know when that is though, so we'll see. What dang. Man is schmoovin' right now. Oh shoot, why did I do that? That was a really bad play. I think he beats me there. So close. No, he beats me, yeah. Shoot, okay, I gotta chill. He's gonna build that into a tower? Yeah, alright, alright. Uh, but now he's being aggressive, so I think. I just need to. Oh, shoot, I didn't think I turned on tournament mode. Did I? Um, can someone tell me if I turned on tournament mode? Because I don't wanna. <laughs> I mean, if, if I lose the first game, I, I played it, so it's on me, but that would not be fun. Alright, here we go. 
This is what we're doing. Alright, we got this. Almost there, but I think we're pulling through here. Awesome. Man. Yeah, I don't get in there. But I do have huge morale advantage. Honestly, this guy's pretty dang good. I'm actually very impressed. That was that was really solid play. So Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay, thank you. I wanna I or else I thought if I had to replay that, that would have been unfortunate. Oh wait, whoops. Um We brought the bug. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, thank you, Chinny. Um, I almost lost. Almost threw that one. But we got it. George, just so you know, I have I, I have you winning your top or getting to top eight. Um and You'll 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 do well. I think I think we play each other in finals, and then you lose three zero because just llamas are much or alpacas are just so much better. Yeah, no, that's what I was gonna say. This guy is definitely not an amateur. He knows his stuff. All right, who should I go here? I do like Kree. I do like Ankh. Alright, <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> the Ankh Ankh, where it's just going to be a stalemate, most likely. <laughs> Aha, nice. Just go back for a bit. Some up there. Very worried about a slow here, but I don't think he, he might not even take his. Ah, oh, that was actually very smart because he maybe if I slowed that, then he would have still got it. Very, very smart. I'm gonna have to get down here in a sec here. I'm just taking my sweet time because I'd rather. My mistake here is I always try to focus too much on the bottom, and then I end up, it ends up biting me in the butt. Ah right, yeah, we need to start getting some production there. Because right now I think his bottom left has zero troops in it. We'll find out here in a sec. Oh, that's fine. Just gonna be chilling here. I'm gonna pry upgrade a bit here in the back. Oh, he's going very, very aggressive here. Oh. 
Very interesting. I don't, I don't know why you'd want to do that there. So this is what I'm gonna do here. Okay, I see what he's doing. That's totally fine. I took over the bottom. Now that's normally, that's why I'm always scared of holding the bottom. Nah. He can have that. Yeah, I'm gonna let you see. I'm gonna just lose it in the bottom. Because I have too much to defend here in the bottom. Okay, I think I see a way to break him here. See if he uses a second here. Nope. Okay. I also am hugely winning in the morale department. That's fine. Alright, we're gonna pull this through. Why are you doing that? I don't think you even take it, man. There we go. No, he's 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 this guy's. I I like the way he's schmoving out there, man. I like the way he's schmoving out there. <sighs> he is definitely doing. Uh, I think what happened there is, like, kind of, yeah, what I was doing is I'm very much, at least my playstyle for this this tournament is very much, uh, I, you can do whatever you want, I might not be fast enough to react because I'm a bit rusty, but I'm gonna, I, based on, like, the different game states, I know, because he was going so fast, he got the bottom, good for him, but the problem he had is he tried to expand too fast, he made, he converted two of his buildings right away to, um, uh, villages, and then because he did that, he that's minus 40 troops, and then he tries to upgrade them, and there's already not too many troops down there to begin with, it's hard to send troops down there, I just knew, and I already had like 70 troops down there, maybe 100, so I could just start capping some things. So that was his big mistake there. Um, but also, he converted another one of his villages into a forge, which was... A little questionable, just because you already have so many forges down in the bottom. But I guess he was turning um, his other buildings and whatnot into different things. So to each their own. But like honestly, he's got some really good mechanics. You can, he just needs to look at the game a little more big picture, and he'll he can do really good stuff. So what I'm gonna do here is oh Dom, okay, I see, interesting. Oh, maybe I shouldn't let him done that so quickly. Anyway, I think I have a good foothold here. So now I just gotta beat him on my side, and I think I win this game. Oh, but, oh, shoot, I know exactly what his plan is now. Fudge. <laughs> oh, nice try. I, I really respect the strategy, though. That was hilarious. I really appreciated that. The cheese, I love the cheese. Oh shoot, I don't know where he's going. I think I know where, but... Also, I'm playing very patiently. I could 
I might I might have been able to win already. But he will try it again, I know he... Actually, what am I doing? I can just I just don't want him. Oh shoot! Ah. I should be fine here, but he is kind of going for my main objective, which would be bad if I lost. And I'm kind of all over the place right now. My confidence just isn't really there right now. Oh. But I think I got it. I think I got it. Yeah, okay. Ooh, alright. There we go. Yeah, no, I, 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 as soon as I, I was like, oh shoot, wall jump, that's his plan here. Responds because I'm gonna just. I'd like to talk to him. He was very good. Very, very good. Um, let's see. Where, what am I doing here? Oh, yeah, I want to switch my. So hopefully he responds, but. Um... Oh, waiting for next appointment. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's see. What is happening here? So, Hyperia, man. Someone to look out for on the ladder. So, Brainy Wrecker and that guy have yet to play. Uh, oh, shoot. I should jump this on here. Aha, I found him in Discord. Sorry, sorry, I'm not talking too much. I am typing with Hyperion. Apparently, this was his first custom matches ever. Cool, cool. Easy 3 0 for Jason. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know, man. This guy's the champion 42, so watch out.
Right, sorry about that. Uh, I was just telling Iberian, apparently those were his first customs and he's not used to it. And I was just letting him know, um, if you ever want to like really get better and like play more, always just go on the Discord and do um, at customs. Would highly recommend, but no. Yeah. Other than that, so hopefully he we start seeing his name pop up more. Because he was pretty dang good. But yeah, anyway, back to the bracket. Jay said. Nice three zero. Uh Loka uh Lo Loha is playing right now. Uh, Deepon is playing him. Um Ooh, this match is happening. Do we wanna check that out real quick as it happens? Maybe that's what I'll do. Hidden two. Easy three zero. Let's go hidden. Let's go Zoro. Might have D hasn't played yet. Stevenson. Oh, Stephen is this the Armani I think it is? Is that like um, other streamer Armani? Because so that's crazy. A 3 0 there. Oh, that looks like an actual good game. That's not a 3 0. <laughs> Fun. Um, then Battletown still waiting. Florida man popping off with the two 3 0s. Focus on this one. Hidden 4. He's out here. He's playing. Me, obviously, out here. We're out here playing. Miha with a 3 1. Good start. Um, DI78 and Z Sense. Alright, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna just refresh to see where Brainy Wrecker and that other person are, real quick. And then. Oh, wait. Pfft, I'm blind. Alright, so we'll probably wait a hot second. So we can watch some matches. Um, if anybody wants to, I'm gonna review or try to real time review the um, where is it, the Max versus Rolly match. So if anybody um has another match they'd like to see, feel free to tell me. We'll check it out. This is also another match. So while we wait, we'll check out some matches here. But yeah, I'm gonna quickly check this quick. Cool. Check it out. Uh, where am I? Um, that's what we're doing. Okay, let's check out Roly's game. Hopefully, they've played one. Or else we'll just be waiting sit patiently. Oh, they played a couple. Oh, yeah, let's check it out. Oh wow, that looked like the six minute game. Let's see what's happening here. All right. So Chia Chia, interesting. So really switching up a style, not choosing Pixar after that. Um, so just upgraded the huge. Oh, so my thing is, why don't people upgrade the level five? Okay, they are. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I was like, I've seen a lot of people just go for the forge or wait to ten shoots, but I think it's better to upgrade. Like you get it maybe a second later, but you have double production then. So both going for their forges. The use. Um, I don't know if Max is sending back. Oh, no, they're not gonna. Really Rolly's just going right into for it. Is that enough? It is. Damn. All right. My bad. <laughs> um, moving in. Both just taking their space. Looks like another thing on this map is if you attack the bottom corners, there's normally not a lot of troops there. You can kind of see if you, but it is, it's very sectioned off, so if you leave one place open, you'll probably get attacked in another place, or if you leave one place protected, you'll probably get attacked in another place, and it's hard to, like, move your troops around. Uh, we're going for attack into the mid tower here, a sandstorm to snob it, whoa, that was quite a bit of abilities there, and that really saved himself, and Max is winning on the abilities a little bit, because he used the third rather than the fourth, but, um... Ends up saving it. Oh, but he's gonna lose that tower. He had it, but he's gonna, well, I guess, lose it back. Um, Alright, Max is somehow taking this over. 
And yeah, uh, Rolly, but Rolly's got the top forges here. So in this position, Max just needs to, because he has those two towers, it's really hard for Rolly to get into his bottom left. So he just got to not lose things and slow push um, Rolly out of here. But let's see what happens, because Rolly, of course, has abilities and is good. So anything can happen. So they're just waiting right now. Max has ult, so Rolly can't really push at the, this time. But he does have a second, so he's feeling pretty good on defense. So they're just macroing up, upgrading things, doing the the huge. And here's Max going for an attack, which he can, because Rolly doesn't really have ults. He has the second, which is nice, but he ends up taking that. That was pretty good. Like good rolling stones. Can't quite take the other one. Hemorrhaging a couple troops, but it's not too bad. And Max is looking real good right now. Um, really needs like a good stone to get back in this game. It's not over, but not looking good. Those three towers are going to be a pain. Because it's just... Towers are annoying, man. They just always shoot your troops. You can't really push into them. Unless you have the right abilities. Let's see. Oh, here's the rolling stones. That's good timing. I think... Ooh. I think, yeah, the sandstorm is going to encapsulate all of it. But there's going to be no troops, so if Rolly needs to use that 14, because I think that's the closest building to that tower, to get in there as soon as it ends. Oh wow, actually, wait. He got it. Maybe, I guess he... I guess it went through. Sansa didn't prevent that. A uh, big frontal attack from Max. Slowed. So I think Rolly's actually going to be able to defend this. Oh, damn. Okay. That was so perfect. Just barely had enough troops to defend that. Actually, can we go back a second? I'm curious. Uh, first off, he ends up taking that, because apparently you can go in there, which is crazy. And then, um, from here, just 23 troops right now. I'm looking at the morale. I'm just curious what happened morale-wise here. Because that's a lot of troops going in there. Yeah, he was almost at 5-star morale, and then he loses pretty much all that extra morale, and then Rolly's almost at 5-star morale here. So that was a big turn of morale there. Um. Yeah, now no, it's an even game again. Crazy, really got out of that. I, I didn't. I, I. It was just a barely misplay out of the sandstorm there. And the slow is it enough? Oh, I think. Oh. Oh my god, Chia Slow is so stupid. But he barely gets it. Uh, if he, uh, if Max uh, moved his troops a little bit in anticipation, I think he has that. But okay, stones that, gets that. It's an easy take his part. So we're just ebbing and flowing here. Um, ooh, I don't think he can take that. That's a lot of troops in there. There's a lot of morale. He's at 5 star morale right now. That's crazy. Okay, yeah, yeah, he's gonna hold that. Maybe. I, we'll go back and check it out in a sec here. Because that's where I, I thought... I think it just went through the sandstorm, where the sandstorm didn't actually stop it. For some reason, like, the hitbox wasn't... wouldn't stop the troops. So, going in there. Gets that. And is he going to get that? Yeah, he's going to get it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And we're only pulling through now, but there is only a minute left. Damn, this is a pretty good game. Nice back and forth. Max got rolling stones. His turn to go out. What's happening here? Slow. And he gets it. Can he hold it though? He's slow. Oh, and he gets it because that the defense is so high. And he gets the forge too. But he is gonna lose that bomb building. Good call on Rolly. Getting that. Um pushing in the main here. Oh, but now he's in the main. So Rolly really gained ground on the bottom, but then loses his main. But to be fair, uh yeah, no, he doesn't he's, like, he's gonna lose his main. He doesn't have the troops to defend us. And but now he's pushing the bottom. Oh man. Alright, so he traded his main for the bottom. <laughs> and I think he's gonna defend this, too. Yeah, there he goes. He's going to the bottom. <laughs> There's a sandstorm. Now, I don't really- I don't think I like the sandstorm. I feel like the sandstorm should have been used to maybe stop, like, sto stones or whatnot. But, hey, he's pr protecting his bottom while still getting the top. Rolly's doing a big support back to the top. To be fair, Max does not have that many troops. He was trying to take the, the top, but he kept using his own troops. Rolly's also attacking the bottom, but I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, Rolly is gonna end up taking his main back again, and that's time. 
Whew. That ending there kind of got crazy, but let's let's go back a little bit, can we? Oh, we can. Let's go back to that sandstorm play. Um. Okay. Right here, right? Okay. Is this? Yeah, we didn't use the sandstorm yet at this point, so let's. So right now he has 67. Let's forward us a little bit. Sandstorm's up now. Okay, so now he's attacking. So he has 70 right now. The stones are going to go through no matter what. So yeah, it has to have gone through, because the stones are going to kill it to zero, and then the sandstorm looks like it should block those troops, but it might just be outside the range, where when he ends, he's going to have 87 troops in there. So that's what happened there. Dang, what a good first game. And, and let's go back to the fact that this is the second match that uh, Max is playing, because the seeding here. Where his second match is against Roley, where he's doing a great job, but that's just a, such a bad second match to have. They're both amazing players. Because I think what happened is you kind of have here's the bubble, right? And then the because the troops get really weird when they get building into the building, right? Because like. Uh, the row density, you have the seven troops that normally are this big, but as they go in the building, it gets small until it's like basically one on top of each other, right? And because the sandstorm must have just a circular radius, and it must have just been outside the point where it would enter the building, even though it looks kind of graphic, or like the, the way the picture and the graphics are, it seems like it should have stopped it, but it must not have. Just crazy. Unfortunate. But let's check it out. Um... Well, that was a little bit of spoils, it looks like. But here we go. Ken Kenner versus Kenner, or Kenor, however you'd like to pronounce it. Alright, here we go. So, oh, okay. So, first off, I'd just like to say, um, off this opener, I like Max's opener much better. I, I like to see if we really can pull it off, but I think Max's opener right here is the superior opener, because it's just so much more production. Now this is what I don't maybe agree with the Max. It's more production, but then you get up later, which I don't know. I'm very I don't know this map that well. I just know I normally don't do that. So and yeah, now Roy's gonna get that. And as as a keener, he's gonna be able to defend that very easily. <laughs> George, I I hear you. I also want to see me lose, but. Alas, we are waiting for a Ray and Brainy Record to finish their match. Actually, Brainy Record did win the other guy 3-0. Don't know if it was a no-show or if it was an actual match, but that's where we're at right now. But we are watching Max, Max and Rolly right now. So, Max has the troop counts, and this is what I mean. He He's winning on the production, but what does he do with his production? I like this strategy, but maybe not for Kenor, because Kenor's going to be able to defend anything he throws at him. You need someone with like some attacking ability, and honestly, he was very close there, very very close. But if he if he had like if this was a Chia, he wins. Like that's a he takes whatever he wants there. To be fair, he does have bomb now, so he should get this, please. Thank you. He's a, very much down on morale now, so he should focus on upgrading. Yeah, now he he's actually losing the production game. Oh, that was a bad attack. He had so many troops. He also had a lot of morale, but. So can he hold the top now? Oh, that's a forge. This is looking dangerous top right now. And Max is going center. Ooh, he, he should really upgrade. We'll focus on getting true production up. He's losing that game real hard right now. Um, yeah, Roly's gonna get the bottom for free, but Max Max is gonna get the second forge, but like with what production behind it? Honestly, I would have rather Roly went for the middle and Max went for the bottom. But that is not the way this game is playing out. So, oh, that's gonna be a bomb. Ooh, and he used the first and second there too. Well, I guess he has he has the mana for it. But yeah, he's gonna get run up at the top because he. You know, I mean, Max just doesn't have the production. He had three production towers. Two of them were level two. <sighs> Unfortunate. Yeah, no, really, just steamrolls him. So 2 1 Rolly right now. I think we all saw the spoilers where Rolly wins, but. Um, 
but it's fun to see how it happens. Now, I think he's in the middle of his match with him, too. We'll check that out, too, after, if I'm not playing by then. Alright, let's check it out. A cheese match for sure. Wilfred Wilfred on this map. I, I didn't see what mode it was. Oh, it's just the regular mode. So this is a... I used to love this map, but then everyone learned the secret. So now I don't like the map because people do it better than me. But here we are. Upgrading, doing normal things here. And if you don't know the trick, the trick is wait. you don't want to upgrade past level 2 because or else you won't have enough troops to be able to defend the onslaught that's about to happen. Oh, really? I guess that's... If he went all in, he would have got it. But now he's on top of some of the production. I don't think Max is going to... Yeah, he just does not have the troops to defend that. Or he does not have troops in position to defend that. So he's losing production. And the thing is, if you're going to do a trade battle, you want it on the opponent's side. Because if it's on your side, your things are getting downgraded. That's happening on your production. So this is unfortunate. Um, he's going to get the forge, which is good, but he has another forge. Eh, yeah, it's looking bleak for Max. He was doing super well at the beginning. When he got that forge, he needed to go, or he needed to defend. He needed to do something, but he lost that, which is uh, when you have such low production and you're downgrade from two to one, when all you have are level twos, that's pretty brutal. So, unfortunate. So I'm going to go check to see where... My game could possibly be um, not cut, not come. Uh, it'll be a little bit. So we'll continue looking at some of these games here. Let's check out Rolly versus Hidden. This is, this is a match I really want to see. So we're gonna have Rolly versus Hidden, Aner versus Aner on D seventy three. Alright, typical opener. Aner and Aner. Man, Rolly is really playing the I'm going to um I I, I think Rolly's just gonna do the a mirror strategy. I don't really know. But very interesting slow match. I feel like one of them could have gone earlier. But hey, they're just being careful. Yeah, okay, that's why he was waiting. Oh, now that might have worked, uh, but Roly just barely didn't get his bottom left forge in time. We can kind of rewatch that real quick. We can see here he wants to, and he's going to be off by one troop. One troop. Sends one extra, this attack works. Maybe works. I don't know. Hidden was pretty well defended for it. And honestly, I think, yeah, Hidden can just move in there. Roly does not have enough. He does not have the morale advantage. He can't hold that. Uh, and now, yeah, Hidden's just going to make sure he keeps that. Um, yeah, he should be able to defend that, even if they attack. Focus on the bottom now. He just wants to defend the top here, but there is a rage coming out. That will be scary. Yeah, he gets that. He gets that. Oh, he barely gets a forge. He gets that forge to attack. Oh my god, if he doesn't have that forge, he doesn't get that forge. But he is winning on the bottom. So... So yeah, what kind of happened there, um, a quick explanation, is because why we're, we're, we're really was able to take that in the first place, it's because, oh wait, shit, we have an accent. Okay, close. Very even match. Um, oh, rage. Not sure. I uh, could get some things. Um, hey, some production, and Rolly's uh, uh, hidden has completely taken the bottom of half of the map. Just really good. So if this goes on longer, Hidden should win this. Rollies, it's a Rollies on the clock here, and it doesn't look like he's doing enough. The locks are being annoying. He doesn't have any abilities too to do anything with. So yeah, looks like this one's gonna be over. Yeah, now he just has such a good foothold. He really needs really needs to do something here. That's it's something. He might take it, but is it enough? Yeah, now he just he just doesn't have the troops. He's able to take it, but at what cost? And yeah, now Hidden's just gonna run him over. Dang, a strong start from Hidden. 
Yeah, no, there's no way you're winning this. GG, oh. So let's talk about kind of what happened here in the middle here. So, oh. So we know Hidden uh, did a good rage, got this. And um, also, that's a replay bug. Uh, rage should be on cooldown. But um, then he goes to the bottom here. And the big thing is, by going to the bottom, he there's not too much production in the bottom I have of the map until we get your main production troops to get down there. So by him doing this, he's getting a, a significant troop and production advantage in the bottom. The cost of leaving his forge is a little more vulnerable. And now we can see, because they're vulnerable, uh, he does... Actually, is Rage on? I don't know. But anyway, um, he gets that. Um, and right here is what I was saying where it might have been huge, where because he has this forge, just this extra forge here, he's going to barely take that, which just helps. I think he would have got it eventually, but it's just... I would have. It takes away helping Roly take his thing, so it's very nice that he got it, because I could have possibly swung um, uh, Roly down. I guess it wouldn't have mattered, but yeah. He's going to get the bottom here, and... Right here, I think I would have liked it a lot more if Roly, because look, look at this position right here. Oh, I meant to pause there. Where was I? Right here, this position right here. Uh, he just hit him just sent to the bottom again. At this point, you either have to get to the bottom super fast, or you need to, because he doesn't have too many troops in the top now, because he sent a lot to the bottom. You're going to have to capitalize, either really quickly help out your bottom, or try to capitalize on the top. And he has the troops to do it here. But to be fair, also, we have a Ring of Fire here. Very strong. Very unfortunate. He had a really good idea in the beginning. It just didn't quite work out. So, unfortunate. Hidden was pretty ready for a cheese strat like that, so... Almost, but not quite. Alright, on to the next match. Um, while well, that one's loading up, I want to check to see how we're doing for time. What's the score of Brainy Wrecker and his opponent's match? All right, still zero zero, or I don't know. Me, it's just not saying. But here we go, King of the Hill two and Chia Chia. What do we have happening here? So same openers. Oh, except for um. Oh wait, no, no, they're both. No, okay, never mind. Um, Rilly's going for the Quick Forge. And then he's going for production. So it looks like, oh, then you... Eh, it should be relatively even. Hidden will have just a little bit more production because he got it a little bit earlier. But Rilly is getting that faster than Hidden is, so... Very slight advantages, but, like, it's pretty much an even game. Um, so then they're just chilling. Ooh, so Hidden's going for that 45, which I think I like better. I think I like going for that one rather than the other 45. So that kind of seeds Roly the other 45. Hidden's going for a very early King of the Hill. Which is, oh, double Sandstorm. Honestly, I don't really like Hidden Sandstorm. Or, or Roly's for that matter. I think Roly could have just overpowered it with maybe stones or something. And Roly, I, I mean, Hidden definitely, I feel like, didn't need to use his Sandstorm there. But that's what happened. He ends up taking it. Roly ends up taking it back. Now, really has a huge morale advantage and is just overrunning it. So, unfortunate. Let's let's actually watch this at half speed here so we can see what's happening. So, yeah, they're doing that. Whatever. And now, here's where the attack is about to come, question mark? No, no. I lied. So, they're just doing their things. And honestly, I like the idea here because he's seeing really go for the 45. So, he's like, oh, I can take this because he doesn't have enough troops. Which is fair at that moment. Now, at this point, I don't think with that bad sandstorm there... Because Rolly's placement was a little off too. Uh, where like this is only gonna cover up. Oop, let's go. This is gonna get yeah, Pico's for that. So if if Rolly would have waited one second here, he should have been able to take this because uh, this is gonna be minus fifty troops. This has no defense. He's he might lose his star of morale for going into this. And if he just waited one second and attacked with the units that were about to go into the 45, I think he just takes it without any ability uses. So, but he ends up using a Sandstorm right now. And honestly, with this Sandstorm, I don't, I'm not quite sure his units can get in. Maybe it can. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's that visual thing again. But, um, yeah. 
Um, Chinny, are any of these two, any of these two possible opponents? Um, I think eventually. Let's check it out. I'm checking the bracket real quick. Actually, maybe not. No, mine's Boktok. So these are just um games that are happening in the top of the bracket, where we're on the bottom here. But I, I definitely am just very interested in this game. I like really I like Hidden too, and this seems like very good games. And they're playing each other very early because of the seeding. So. Um, if we wanna, we could watch some of, the reason why I don't really want to watch our matches is because they don't seem as good. Let's see, we're, we're in the bracket. Um, actually, we could watch, um, Hidden 4 versus Focus Fun. They are in our bracket, and, um, they're in a bracket, and we should be playing them soon-ish here. So, I'm gonna finish watching the series, because I'm very invested in the series. But then after, um, we will take a look at um, Focuses and Hidden Force, who we will play the winner of them probably eventually, unless the other bracket wins. Or the other, because you can kind of think we're in like two separate trees for top 16 and we'll converge on the top 8 for the top 8 spot. So, but yeah, anyway, Rolly vs. Hidden 2. Now, this is freaking dirty. Pixel on this map is stupid, just because you can totally stop any, and really, really recognize this and does a really good strap where he doesn't go for this 15 right away, he actually goes for the 2-5 because he knows if he goes for the 15 right away, he's going to be delayed like 10 seconds because if he tries to send troops to the 5 after that, Pixel's going to have his first up and he's just going to get denied. So I do like that strat from Rolly to go for the middle right away. Pixel is busted on this map, especially early game. Pick. Late game, it just becomes even. But um, oh, he's going. Yeah, that's, that's smart because he right, really can't do anything here. And that's a good first. Does it prevent it? Oh yeah, that's very unfortunate for Rolly here. So honestly, yeah, I like the idea that Hidden's going for, which is just I'm gonna take him to your land because I know you can't take it. So. Yeah, Hidden 2, uh, Hidden 2 is amazing. I, he is a fan favorite of mine, too. Um, I will look at my opponents in a sec here, Chinny, after this. But this is definitely very fun games. I mean, we should have time after this, I think, to lurk a bit. Because we'll probably finish our games much quicker than the other. So, good fourth by Rolly. Oh, and a good second by Hidden. Trying uh, wall skipping there. Will he be able to defend this in time, though? If it takes it, that's pretty good, yeah. He needs a second. Oh, it doesn't use it in time. To be fair, it is hard with the sliding to get it in time, but ends up taking it back, surviving the fourth. He has morale advantage here. And yeah, makes it into a tower to be extra annoying. Love it. And at this point, I would really like if he went for a king of the hill, because he just wants to start timing. Yep, and that's exactly what he's doing. Perfect. Love to see it. Um, also, we have our match ready, so George, you will get your um, you'll get your dream of watching me lose, probably. An attack coming from hidden. He's going right into it. Oh, a nice second to make sure to secure it. Will his uh, he has a bunch of slow troops going into it, but I think he just has too much morale, man. Yeah. That's going to be the game. Man, this is such a good series. Unfortunately, we're going to have to take a pause because it's time to play games. But, dang, that's I think that's a 2-2 series now. No, it is a 2-1. We're really down, actually. Maybe, maybe, has, has really been playing? I don't know. Because I know I, I won more than I thought I should have. So, maybe Hidden 2 and I are just such a peak performance now, so... Who knows? Uh, here we go. Um, let me add Brainy Ricker real quick if I haven't already. Do I invite? Yeah, I do invite. Brain. Maybe he's just having a bad day. We all have bad days. Oh, I can't type. But <laughs> two. Oh, bless me. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I can, um, while we get ready here.
Ah, we actually got 300 plus people registered. Crazy. Nice. So just to kind of show you what I was talking about here in a sec. So right here, this is our kind of top 16 bracket, and this is Focus Fun and Hidden 4's top 16. So after we finish watching Hidden 2 versus Rolly, we'll watch this to kind of spy, because I, I, I have a suspicion that whoever wins this is going to beat Cali Meow. So we'll see here. But I'm pretty sure I'll be playing, if I win this, which hopefully, I think I, I should be able to win this. So, as long as I don't screw up, I think I win this. But I'll probably be playing the winner, because this guy has been 3 0 but I have no idea who this person is, which is normally a sign that the people I know will probably win. So, but yeah, so then. Oh, Florida Man! Okay. Florida Man with the upsets. Look at that. Upset. 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 Florida Man is being the underdog here. Uh, we'll, we'll watch is we'll for sure watch this match because whoever wins this is actually I probably won't have time I'll probably get there and then we have to play but let's check if we got a message Yet, but let's check out. Well, I'm gonna reload real quick while we're waiting. I'll we'll just take a look at the other brackets. This seems like an interesting match. Oh, J said is owning here. Look at this three zeros all around. Another upset. Look at this underdog J said coming in. And we got Loha destroying as he should. I tell him reverse I'm curious to see who wins that one. Um, any message yet? Oops. I'll change the music in a sec here because we have been replaying a lot of the same music. Also, how much time do we have on this left? Eh, not too much longer. Um, oh my god, it didn't actually pull through there. Zoro! With a super upset. Well, I guess it isn't too much of an upset because he is super good. But, oh my. I thought maybe really we got a second win, but Zoro is gonna be the one to watch here. Hidden two. Let's go. Glad to see you finally pulling through, taking on some big names. Cool. Happy for you, man. So MindMD still waiting. Oh no, he's playing actually. No, 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 he's playing. So I'd like to see that match too, because that will be. No, oh, we actually won't play him at all. I lied. But that's gonna be fun, because Stephenson. Ooh. Barely pulling through against Vassal. That had to been a close series. Damn, so it looks like Stephenson's gonna get his top 8. And then we got Bok Talk versus Florida Man. This is in our bottom half of the bracket, so we will have to play the winner of this eventually. If we keep winning. Um, then this is our little section here. Um, Mihai, how are you doing, man? Alright. Popping off. Vampire's also doing very well here. Um, so that'll be... I'm, I'm curious to see how many games Miha can get. Hopefully, if he can pull through, that would be a huge clutch. DI almost... Oh my god, who is this guy? Elpatonic? That, that seems like a really cool or a close match. Z-Sense popping off, as he should. This will be a very close match. I'd like to see that. 
But these are kind of the people we're eventually might have to play. We're definitely much more worried about this side. I think this side too. No, 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 that's our next one. So if we win here, we'll win the winner of this little thing here. And that will bring us into playing in the final tournament. Because, actually, real quick here. Actually, yeah, yeah, so there. So this is for, this is for top eight right here. You have to win this little pyramid. So only one of these can get top eight. This is top 16. So four men's top 16. That's really cool. All right, still waiting for Brainy to give us a message. Oh wait, he might be messaging me and doing Discord. Oh, my bad. <laughs> he was messaging me via Discord and he's like, I'm so nervous, I can't keep my crap together. Just gotta, when you're first getting a big name, it does, uh, it does definitely kind of affect with your psyche, but you just gotta play like you normally would. And it's very hard, but you just gotta stick to your game. Or Fase. Welcome. And yeah, we'll definitely show Z Sense. Let's do this. And you know we're doing more. In what world do I not do more? Oh, oh, dang, Rudo. All right. So what's my strat here? He, um, she's probably gonna be super aggressive. So I just gotta defend, but I also gotta make sure I take enough buildings. So to defuse the thing when it comes. I'm just gonna do that. Feels good. And that's a first, so that's actually really good because that's um, mana now that she does not have for if this goes to mine, I'm gonna be so sad. Actually, do I get it? I'm not actually. Okay, that's yeah, fine. Okay. Should be fine. Okay, just gotta watch out for her speed here. I'm playing very safe. Yep, there's the speed. It's going there. Oh shoot, it's also going there. I'll defend one. I have to use that on the other. Can I stop opening that? Thank you. Take that. 
To be fair, I think I just win now. Oh shoot! I should not have used that first. I was gonna use my third there, but now I can't. But I still get it. Okay, that's fine. I should I take my second one? Man, I am playing very sloppy right now. I think it'll work out, but like, should be playing a little bit better here. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Instead of yeah. using my third, I'm just gonna go win the bottom here. Do I keep that right in there? Yeah, so, yeah, this is what I like to do. Is I see they definitely got to hold a lot of troops there, or else they're not gonna have, and the rest they're not gonna try to defend that much because. So I'll just get my bottom for free. But yeah, it looks like a good first game. Oh, okay. And I definitely can tell she's playing nervous too, so. Nerves nerves are a big factor here, so. Oh! Oh! Boom. I just played that entire game without... Okay, my bad. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, great game to see there. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, hey, God. Long time no see you, buddy. How you doing? Alright, let's see. What did I miss here? Can't see game? Yep, my bad. Thank you, Jenny, for the compliment. Um... Yeah, so basically kind of what happened there is I took my side, and I was just playing super safe. Um, she sped into my base once, and then it was fine. And then uh, she was working on capturing her bottom. She took the main tower, and then what I ended up doing is I know, because I saw there was a lot of troops there, I cauldroned it, and then moved into all the bottom, other bottom buildings, because I knew I had a troop advantage. So that's kind of what happened there. We continue. Uh, that was probably that was probably Chitty's favorite game. He didn't get to see me win. I mean, not Chitty's favorite game. I mean, Chitty says my bad. Chitty is me house troll. Jay says mine. Oh shoot! Has she, has she invited me? I have not been paying attention. Alright, here we go. I should get an invite here soon. <sighs> Small technical issues. Well, we will wait here for our next invite. Actually, while we wait, I'll just. I'll change the music real quick, because we're getting to the end of this. New lo-fi beats. <laughs> of course, copyright free. <laughs> because we are poor, and I don't know how to actually select music. Good for a stream. <laughs> uh, there's an invite. Alright, let's do this. What map? Is, she just messaged me and asked, what map? And I'm like, I do not want to choose the map for you. Please choose the map. It's your map choice. <laughs> Don't let me choose it. I will choose D19. <laughs> hey, Sammy, what is up? Oh, we got a map. I was not paying attention. So I... We'll see. If she picks Pixo, 
I will also pick Pixo. But Clots, okay, I will not pick Pixo then. I'll do Stella. I like, I'll, I'll show you, uh, for everyone who's watching the stream right now, secret little alpaca strat. But actually, I don't, I didn't see what side it was. Okay, I'm green. I think it's green. This wins a lot out of, a lot of, or a lot of the time. I don't have a percent. A hundred percent is what I'll say. But watch carefully. Alright, standard opening. Oh no! She screwed up. Oh, that sucks. No, that's so, oh, I hate when that happens. Dang, I feel really bad. Oh, okay, she did not do tournament mode either. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so nerves are definitely happening here. Which is I, I I hate to see it, but you just gotta gotta relax a little bit. I'm human. I you if you're here and watch it, you can see me make so many mistakes. <laughs> like I you I'm very beautiful. <laughs> but yeah. While I wait, I guess I'll open my free chest. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Try two at game two. And I assume we're gonna do the same thing? And I was kicked. Rude. <laughs> Alright, we'll wait. Oh, never mind. Going right back into it. Oh. I assume we're doing the same heroes. If we're not, I'll be very sad. As long as we're not cho choosing picks on this map, I'm a happy camper. If we choose Pixo, a bloodthirsty time. You know it's a Pixo Ditto. Alright, here we go. Standard opener again. And it works this time. Good for her. Take that. Be huge. Take that. So, what is special about this strat, you might ask? It just looks like a normal game. Well, I will tell you. This is where things get crazy. My multi select will work. Actually, I'm second that. Never mind. She's doing a very interesting strat herself. So I'm just gonna relax. I think I'm fine here. I was very worried about a swap there. But there's a swap. But I'll get that. This is fine. I'm very much chilling here. Actually, I'm gonna try to. Oh, I'm not gonna get it on. Hopefully, I can force a second here. Yep, there's a second. Perfect. I'm a happy camper. Now that's I get it for free once it's done. Because Stella gets a free building with her third. Because that's fair. Uh, looking real good right now. Oh, multi select, please. Honestly, I just have so many troops, I'm just gonna end. <laughs> um, make sure there's no GC. Oh, okay. That's what's happening. Nice try. It was a, it was a good try. I think. Um, also, we didn't get this as a strat, sadly. But um, I, I definitely think nerves are playing a huge factor here because, like, that that attack normally doesn't work just because I have so much defense at that point. You need an ability to go with. I, that's why I was very scared of a third because if she had a third there, she might have been able to do a forward position and then we have a good game. 
but because she didn't have an ability to go with, it was just a pretty standard defense. I had abilities to defend with too. I had silence, I had things to do. I was pretty set, so not the best attack. But then again, I think there's a lot of nerves that come into that. On the game theory. Excuse me. There's our invite. And what map are we doing this time? Or is she gonna ask me to pick the map again? Please don't. You need to pick the map. Like I said, I will pick. That's that's normally my strand on this map. Because of the fact I know she's probably gonna be aggressive, I think I'm gonna go Wilfred. And I know she can't pick clots too. And an Aner. Honestly, fun fact about Wilfred. I'm pretty sure I don't know if this still works. It works when I used to play on PC. But if you switch a building, it takes away locks. So I think Wilford kind of counters Aener, in a way. So a little bit about my opener. I open 75, 75, and wait to see what my opponent does. Like for instance, that's a very aggressive opener. So I'm gonna just kind of go in here, and that's a terror. Oh shoot, I'm 100%ing. Classic, all right. So we'll see what happens here. I know I'm just seeding this, so I'm just gonna go and take that. See if I can get in there at least. And honestly, I might be on the back foot here. Yeah, no, I might. Yeah, I gave up two morale. So we'll see if we can come back from this one. But it's looking real bleak right now. Yeah, okay, that's over. Whoops! I threw that one a little bit. I played, I tried to do, maybe I should have gone Clots there, maybe. I honestly could have just played a normal game. I want, I tried to get it aggressive, didn't work. <laughs> All right, what map do we want here? What map do I want to play? I could just play... 
What's a, what's a map that I feel super comfortable in? I think I'll just do a typical this one here. I feel fairly comfortable on these. <laughs> Alright. Jason, are you here? Because you would have, if you replay like five minutes ago, I bet you'd really enjoy that. <laughs> All right. Do I go Aner? Do I be rude? I could just go for. It. Maybe I, I. You know what? I'm feeling rude. <laughs> I'm gonna go Pixo. We're playing to win now. I'm very scared. I don't feel confident at all. I definitely think I could definitely throw two games. So I, I'm just gonna play for the win. So let's see what happens here. She said she'd be back in a sec, so we shall wait patiently. In fact, I might have to do a bathroom break after this. We'll see. Um, oh, wait, I'm waiting. I'm gonna check the bracket real quick. Okay. This time I won't switch to the bracket screen just because I know I'll forget to switch it back. So Boktok, still waiting. Fortiman, still waiting. They're playing their game right now. Um, Hidden Four beat Focus three one. So just a little what's happening in the background here. So I'm gonna play the winner of Hidden Four versus Kali Meow, which I'm pretty sure that'll be a Hidden Four victory. So we'll check that out in a sec here. But a little bit of what's happening in the background. Again, also actually. Maybe I'll do that, we'll do that after. Because I have a feeling I should finish this one off with a win. The next couple are gonna be tricky, so we'll see. But as soon as I'm out, I would love to hear games that you guys wanna watch. Because I know I wanna finish watching that one, but so. Um, for this map, I think Pixel's busted, like if you pick Pixo, you it's kind of rude to pick Pixo on this map. But other than that, I think Aner's pretty good. Uh, Trini's also pretty incredible. Any of the Shimori are good on pretty much any map, and this is kind of a basic map. But a uh, basic map that's just like normal things are good. I think Kree can be good here, especially on um, Dom mode. Kree's super good, but it just kind of depends. There's a lot of good heroes on this map. You you really can't go wrong on this map with choosing heroes. So I'm gonna I'm going for a much more standard opener, where I'm gonna focus on production because I'm gonna get whatever I want because of that stupid ability. Should I be rude? Yeah, I'm gonna get some morale. I think I hold it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, where this is kind of just a rude hero to play on this map. You really have to be very... If you're going to go to the middle, you have to go to the middle with a lot of troops, or else that's going to happen. Looks like that's gonna be a GG. And that's why I that's why I say it picks us so busted on this map because you just put that in that and you basically get center control. They have to wait patiently and then use ability of their own. It's possible. Very, very possible. But it's just if you're not ready for it and you're not thinking of it, it can be devastating, as we saw here. So yeah, that's a good game, Brainy Wrecker. I very much enjoyed that.
it was a little sad just because I know her nerves were so bad that, and she was telling me that entire time that her nerves were really bad. So, um, Actually, real quick, go here. What's cool? Game one, me. Game two was also me, right? I have terrible memory. Cause yeah, this was the fourth game. Yeah, game two was me. Game three was her, and game four was me. GG, well played. Alright, um, let's go take a look at the brackets, because we have a sec here. Oh, my match match is ready, is it? Or are you just telling me this? Yeah, stop, stop lying, Battle 5. So let's check out Hidden 4 versus Focus 1. Shall we? Just to see, because I think that's going to be where we figure out what is happening. Oh, Mia, I got a game on Vampire, nice. Actually, before, hold up, before we do that, I'm going to refresh this real quick, just to make sure it's the most recent. I want to take a look at what's happening in the brackets. So, oh dang, what happened, Jay said? Is is he good? I've never heard of this guy before. Is he someone who just has like this weird name who I would know, but I just right now don't know who it is? Dang, well, that's an upset. Who would have thought the one seed would have beat Jay said? Jay said is the one seed in my heart or two seed in my heart. Yes, yes, Jay said. <laughs> we are anti. Uh, this is now officially an anti fossil stream. <laughs> um, Lexi beat that. Oh, I think beat Deep on. Okay. I think is popping off. And it was a 302. Dang. Crazy. I'm um, hitting two. Crazy. Mind MD doing very well. Stephenson 3 0 that guy to get in the top 8, right? Where's that top 16? I forget. Then we have Bahtok and Florida Man. That will be an interesting match. I feel like Bahtok's going to win it, but I wonder how many games Florida Man can get out of. Then it's going to be me versus them. Vampire versus... I don't know who this is. And, oh, Zizan's crushing the I-78. Nice, 3-1. Cool, cool, cool. Alrighty. Well, let's... Um, that's kind of what's happening now. In fact, what I'm probably going to do is... Um, Take a bathroom break here, real quick. But yeah. First thing I'm gonna do is finish typing, talking to a brain record here, real quick. All right. So, um, in the meantime, I'll I'll zoom out. Actually, what I'll do real quick is do this. That was bad. That was a bad move. Um, this is kind of where the bracket lies right now. I'll keep this zoomed out. Hopefully, you guys can see it. But yeah, I will be to the bathroom and be right back.
Alrighty, I am back. Let's see, what is happening? Is there a slight delay between image and sound? Alright. I can try to fix that. Oh, that's Faree? I thought, oh, I guess, yeah, Ares. I, I, I didn't see his name, so that's that's pretty dang. Yeah, he should be the number one seed then. Oh, you done Dippy Toe. Was that just a choice, or do you, did you stop doing that altogether now, uh, Jay said? Or should I just start calling you George? Is that how you, is that how you pronounce it? George? Just like George, but George? So we want to see this match. Um, where, what is this match? Um, this match is Focus One versus Hidden Four. Let's see if we can find it. That's a Focus Fun, right? Underscore fun. How the heck do you get an underscore? Alright, hidden four is easier. Let's see. Hidden four. Also, is it what is there by any chance I know hidden four by I I just don't know. Who hidden four is. I know there's hidden one and hidden two. And there's a hidden nine. I just don't know who he is, but alright. Let's go to the game here. Alright, go we go. It's pronounced Jorge. Oh, my bad. Uh, I'll try my best to do that. Jorge is not that bad. I can do it. I just did not know it was pronounced that way. That's my bad. Um, I'm a little. I'm pretty uncultured, <laughs> so that is my bad. But Jorge, cool. All right, but now we're watching Focus One versus Hidden Four. We're probably gonna play Hidden Four, so that's why we're gonna, we're gonna watch this match to see what is Hidden Four strategy. I don't know if he's mirroring or if his strat is Mario. So we'll see. We'll check this out. Pretty standard play. Nothing too crazy here. Going there, going there. Typical, typical. Turn that four inch. Ooh. 100% there. So hidden four does sometimes 100% on his attacks. Good to know. Yeah, focus one capitalizes on that really well. Um, yeah, good. Good on focus funds part. But him for while that all was happening was developing bottom, so that's pretty good. Decides to skip out on the tower, which is alright. Um, focus fund has no troops in the bottom, but he took that. Yeah, and that's where he was the capital. Uh, oh, he's not going to have enough troops. It's all about bottom control right now, so let's see who gets it. So Hidden gets his tower, and he has the ability, so he kind of gets to decide what happens. He doesn't. He does have no morale though, so maybe he just wants to sit back and build that up. We'll see. All right, there's the ability. Stop that fog, but some troops are still gonna get through that fog. But now morale's kind of evened out. But you can't really see, so you can't really tell that that's where he was trying to go. And now he gets to attempt to take it back. Will he get it in time? He will, but he empties out there. So he's a very all-in player, it looks like. 
he he tries his best to stay or uh, um, to like do 25%, but he sometimes exits out 100% if he is confident in where the opponent's going. So a couple taps here and there is probably a good idea against him. Yeah, psychoanalyzing the opponent, figuring out their weak points. Hoo -hoo -hoo. A good third by Focus Bomb. He's in there, and oh, but he should be able to get it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, good misdirect. A good attack, but I hit him four. Huge mind game here. Sends it down. I don't know if it'll work because he had the troops there, but like, I was not expecting that. No different circumstance. That works really well. So it looks like hidden four is a little down here. So what is he going to do to bring it back? So third, any fourth? No fourth from Focus Fun. He ends up just taking it. Maybe a maybe a malfunction. Ooh, not the best fourth by Focus Fun. Does it? Do yeah, it doesn't even block it. So that's unfortunate for by Focus Fun. So Hidden gets his fourth. That's a little bit better. And now it takes top control. So now Hidden Four is definitely in the lead. And he has more troops, even morale. But to be fair, Focus Fun is close to that five star morale point. Yep, there he is, five star morale. What is he gonna do with it? He's gonna lose it. <laughs> um, ooh, there's a third into. Is that his? No, that's hidden fours. That's gonna work out. Oh, it's not gonna work out. I think at this point, he just doesn't have the troops. He needs to really defend and make sure he loses it or try to make hidden four lose his morale. But I don't think that's gonna happen. He does have to try to slow, but yeah, he just doesn't have the troops. He's gonna. Keeps that. But he loses everything else, man. He just does not have the troops. Sometimes it's just a numbers game. Too many buildings, too much production. He can't really attack because those towers are kind of annoying. I mean, he can't even defend this right now because he can't get over there. Yeah, alright. Hidden 4 ends up taking the game 1. Just make sure I don't have a match real quick. So that would be really awkward if I'm casting a game while I should be playing a game. I don't think Tormaz would be happy with me. Nope. We don't know the score either, so we are a-okay. Um, it looks like... Oh, actually, it looks like Hidden 4 1. So, we'll probably get a game here soon, so we'll cast one more. It'll just be a little late. Too far back, aren't I? Focus fun, focus fun. Here. The Cree pick. Who picked Cree? Hidden four picks Cree on this map. Damn. Cool. I like it. <sighs> oh, my bad. Well, it doesn't really matter. Nothing really happens. The first 20 seconds, anyway, except for that's a very fast forge going for a play. Focus on is going, trying to expand really quick here. And that's his. Looks seems to be his strategy. Um, he should get yeah both things. So let's see what happens here. He might have a fourth. No, he does not have the fourth. If he had the fourth, that would have been crazy. He could have got the uh, tower for free there. And that would have been bad. But focus on has a huge positional advantage. But hidden four does have the morale and production advantage. So still fairly even. Depends on what they do with it. And he's going for a quick play here. Oh, but a, ooh, what happened there? Actually, I don't want to rewatch re that. What happened with that fourth? I feel like he should have got it. Did he just do it too early? Yeah, that troops are coming in. Oh, he did. Um, a little tip um for doing this. Um, when you do your fourths, you want to normally do it so you only get the front end troops because treason only does like forty esque troops if I remember correctly. And if you do the whole thing, it'll be kind of forty random troops. Which, you really just want the front going in, because who cares, if you have it evenly, then you're kind of fighting for who gets control. And you'll probably lose, so if the treason was more of a circle, where it just caught the end of the troops, it would have been more effective. But now, yep, there's the fourth, he's gonna fully get that, and just, yeah, he has morale, he's got numbers. But I should just, yeah, brute force his way in there. He might just be able to get the entire top, does he? He should be able to, but then again, 
I am omnipotent in this mode where I can see everything, so. Or omnipotent, my bad. I can't pronounce things. So what happens here that ends the game? Oh, yeah, good point. Uh, it is 40. I was right. I know things. Some things. Oh, invis. Where is it going? Oh, th it must be a really good invis because the game is about to end here. I didn't see who wins, so... Yep, and then perfect. He's getting ready to teleport in. And he ends up getting... Yeah. It's pretty good. You really, when Kree starts to attack somewhere and he has a this, you really gotta check it earlier rather than later. You have to figure out the general direction so you can start moving troops to that. Though it is hard. Especially on this map where, honestly, I did not know where they were going. You just gotta pay attention. So Treason comes out and uh, but it's game over. It's game over. Well, anything else happens. I'm trying to see just GG. Go. I'm hitting four. I, I, I honestly do not remember. It, I, cause I know there's a bunch of hiddens. I don't think I've ever played hidden four unless he had a name change. So, anyway, um, let's not forget that you guys want to watch the match this time. <laughs> don't want to screw that up again. So three. Oh, that's the real Z sense. That is my bad. Alright. Alright. It is more Odon, baby. He's gonna match me, a man of culture. Oh, I see. Oh. I, I called you a man of culture and then you had to switch on me? Come on, man. I can't, can't be vouching for you that hard, man. Alright, we're gonna do this as quick as possible. See if this works. I'm not quite sure. Honestly, I don't think it works. Oh, it does work, sick. Man, that's brutal. Morrow's good. The reason why I wait is if he's going for me, I'm very scared. He might actually. Uh... Hey, cool. I defend. Sick. No, I just want chill. My goal here is I'm winning. Do I just can I just do this? Okay, I can. Cool. I'll say I might just. I have a huge morale advantage. I kind of have an everything advantage here. I might just push him. Alright. Good first game. Morale's good, man. Morale's good. <laughs> Alright, let me let me read what's happening here. Uh tap now on the force skill. Yeah, it should have been placed more at the start of the Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's exactly perfect, Jenny. That's exactly what I was trying to say. Maybe I'm just really bad at communicating. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah. Oh yeah, exactly. You wanna get in there. And yeah. 
Um, Jorge, yes, it is the moment you've been waiting for. I already lost the game, so. Also, thank you, Chenny. I, I take being called evil a uh, compliment. Mmm. <laughs> Fudge, I'm gonna lose this game. <laughs> the hitters are so good at this map. This is a great counterpick to me. Let's see how it goes. I, I have to forfeit the top here. That's what I'm gonna do. I forfeit the top, and I just gotta focus on the bottom, and I want to get as much space as I can in the bottom as possible. Unless he's going straight for the bottom, in which I'm just gonna cry. Interesting. I actually kinda like that strat. So my goal here... I'm not gonna be able to take that from him. Okay, I'm just gonna play down, and that's just how it's gonna be. Because I don't know the other way to play this map. Great counter pick. How much I can do here? Except for attempt to play. Okay, let's focus on bottom here. Let's see, I think I just got a bit build up. Wait for him. I'm gonna go for that middle tower. Let's see how that works. So, to get this middle tower, what I'm going to do... So I have a feeling we're going to both do the same thing here. I'm going to kind of space it out where... Oh, I'm not going to get an eye. Fudge! I almost had... Ah, I should have... That was really bad on my part. Yeah, I lost this one. That's game. Fudge. Oh, that was a quit to main menu. No, he's... I, I don't know how to play it the way that they do, man. That map is a great their map. Well played on the counter pick here. Good, sir. So what did they play? They played Trini. And they played... Kenmore in the beginning. I'm gonna play this map. I'm pretty dang good at this map, so. So, 1 1. Let's see, I think I'm gonna play Anor. He's also gonna play Anor. Let's do it. We'll do it. I, I, I feel semi-confident. I'm winning on production because behind this I was doing more. But I'm a little worried he has more troops in this area than I do. And he's gonna get that up real quick here. So, just chilling. I do have my first, he has his first. Okay, that's what we're doing here. Can't stop that. Gotta go for the mid real quick here. Gonna get that, gotta quickly get ready to defend in case he does something. So I got that for free. The music has stopped, which kinda sucks. Got that before him. Should get both of that. Alright, looking real good right now. I do wanna. Okay, I have. So does he. Uh, okay. Yeah, I won. Good, good, good. Woo! Okay. Damn, now, now the nerves. The nerves are happening. Uh, let's get some music playing here. Uh, Alright. Alright. Don't know what happened there. Got plenty of music to go. Don't know why I did that. But. Nice. Alright, let's go back here. Alright. 
two on. One more, uno mas. Oh, you, you, do you really want to take me here? Damn, I actually kind of forgot how to play this one. But I'm shocked he wants to take me here. No! Get out! Sir. <laughs> Why'd you take me here? <laughs> oh no! It's a disaster! Oh my gosh, that's so sad. Oh, did he mean that? I feel so bad. I, ah, because on one hand I just want to take the win, but on another hand I feel really bad if he chose the wrong one because that seemed like a king of the hill strat. Because on conquest you just gotta get in those buildings. Maybe he misclicked, but I felt I felt like that was, um what you were supposed to do. Like, that's what he wanted to do. His strat was to go to my back line. Oh, I guess I can, uh, real quick here. Um, Honestly, to be fair, I, I like his strategy because what he could have done there is only go for one tower and hold that one tower. And then if he holds one tower, the game won't end. And then he kind of goes in my back line. If I try to go for two towers, it might not work out the way I want it to. So I do, I like it. The strategy has potential. But oh my gosh. GG, well played, hidden four. I'm uh, definitely heart's beating a little bit. Uh, so I got the first match because Moro is stupid, and then he got the second match because he had a great counter pick. Oh, mouse gonna work, please. Thank you. Um, then I won the third match because I had the counter pick for the counter pick, and then he picked my favorite match and then lost. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel so bad. I, I I love that map, man. I'm so proud of that map. <laughs> Oh, let's see, what is happening here? Oh, Voo! What is up? Oh yeah, it's definitely, like, I've, you know I've been playing for a while, but every time, it's just, the heart's beating a bit, you know? I don't want to be the one to lose. But, I end up pulling, pulling through. Because, honestly, Voo, I feel, I wish, I, I, like, you're so good. You would do so if you could deal with the nerves. You would get so far in these two because I know if you play any of these players one on one, low stress, you can take. Uh, honestly, I think you win this. The only person that would be a good match is Furry for you. So, dang, that sucks. Ah, oh. you gotta join more tournaments, man. You're amazing. Always one of my favorite players. There was a time when Lumi was playing where I thought you and Lumi were like on equal levels. Like, you were crazy at some point. Uh, you're, you're always crazy, but at one point you were like, oh, I couldn't even, I could not compete. But nice. Okay. Anyway. I, I, enough gassing you up so much. <laughs> Boo is great. But let's look at the bracket. What is happening here? So. Oh, dang. That was a. Loha almost got up on Furry. Dang. Crazy. But Furry is in the top four officially. Hidden 2 versus Stefson. So, oh, 3-0 on MindMD. I did not expect that. I thought maybe MindMD would get a game or two. But 3-0, dang. Hidden 2 is not playing around today. Taking out Rolly and going... Oh, I gotta play Bot. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, should probably go to my next match. Should I? Um... <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, he's, he, oh gosh, time to upset. Whew. Um, 
definitely a bit nervous. Let's go get this on the game. But Alright, let's I'm waiting for that invite. While I do that, I'll kinda um, Oh my god, it is 2-2 two -two right now for Vampire vs. Z-Sense. That's crazy. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to play either of them if I win this. Oh, I, I, I honestly, I think this is where I get knocked out. Oh, he's putting me on orange too? Okay. Red strategy, question mark? Let's find out. Pixel? We'll see, we'll see. You think you got the Pixel play? I played the Pixel before. I, I feel confident in the Pixel. No, I fucked up my opening. No, 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 no. The nerves. Oh, this is tragedy. This is tragedy. Actually, this is probably for the best. Because I'm going to get my abilities up faster. And I'm going to need my third, because I am not. I, I don't take my... I don't, I don't take my forge here. It's an instant lose. So I just got to focus on expanding in the bottom. And he knows it, so... So I gotta watch out for a second here. Oh shoot, I should probably take my forge, shouldn't I? No, 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 no! Yeah, okay, he's in there. Nothing I can do about that. But I do have 50 troops that can give me a bunch of morale. Oh, he got in there? Oh, that's game over. Fudge. I, I really screwed up my open in there. I should have... Uh, I should have... Um, maybe not used my first there. That's what kind of screwed me over. He, damn, I should have played that better. Because if I had my third earlier, I could have got out. But there's just no way I was getting my third using the first. <laughs> Dang. Unfortunate. One zero bot talk. Try Adam as a friend. Um, unless I'm wrong, what is what? Oh, I see my mistake here. Alrighty, what are we playing next? Again, I like, I like this map, man. Actually, you know what? I'm not doing that map. All right, ready? we're we're big brain in this. All right, I I don't feel super confident in the Aner Aner matchup. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take Boktok to the Rude map because he can't do Pixel anymore. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna go Pixel. We're gonna be super rude. And what we're gonna do is um, hopefully he picks Aner as a counter play because if he picks Aner. Then I think I got the next match that I get to play. So we're gonna hope. Let's see what he does. I picks Wilfred. Okay. Probably smart because he's gonna need that forge. But we'll see what happens here. All right. <sighs> let's do this. Same opener. So I can kind of chill a little bit here. By chill, I mean upgrade a bit. I don't have to go out as early, and he knows he can't take mid. Well, as I say that, he goes and tries to take mid. Like, an absolute crackhead. And he's gonna take it, actually. But I have the production behind this. I don't know if he does. So I'll just bide my time here. Please get up it. It's OK. 
okay. That's honestly fine. Oh, never mind. I forgot he has that ability. I think I can keep it. Okay, so this is just going to be a good game. I might not keep that, but I got a lot of morale for that. Get in there. Yes, let's go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Defended that. Barely, but it's looking like this is going to be a dub. I think he used too much there, yeah. Alright, there we go, 1-1. One, one. Um, oh, Vu, um, that is um, free. Oh, yeah, well, Mushroom War the official Mushroom Wars 2 got you already. But it's fun that the official Mushroom Wars 2 here is watching little old me. <laughs> Alright, 1-1, one, one, here we go. Mm. Fudge. I don't know how I play this map, man. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna pick the Murrow. What's my counterplay here? Um, do I go Kenner? Man, we we are being rude to each other. I think I gotta go Kenner. Cause I can't do Pixo, which is another viable strat, so I think I can go Kenner here. Alrighty. No! Oh, fudge. I screwed up, man. That's fine. Gotta give that up. If I keep... Oh, no. I lost. Fudge. Octa's come with the strats, man. Alright. One, two. So, what's my play here? Yeah, there's no counterplay to that, wasn't there? Because he attacked me. Yeah, oh, what the heck's the counterplay to that? I don't even know, man. That was. I th yeah, I think I, I think what I had to do there is trade. Like we had to take each other's bases. Damn. All right, let's put on tournament mode. I think I just go D nineteen. I, I'm pretty confident on my D19. If I lose, then it's just embarrassing for me. Oh, he's go. Okay, cool. Going Kree is all I need. I just need him to go Kree and I win. I feel I, like Kree is not bad. Kree is not bad on this on this mode, but it's not as good as Rudo. Wait, what? Actually, I do need to be sure i attacking his bases. Yep, yeah, there we go. That's all, because that's what it is right there. Is as long as you're on top of his buildings, he can't use his fourth. Which is the difference between Rudo, who totally can use his fourth. Whew! Two, two. Though it's his map pick, and. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think you're right, Boo. You're totally right. You have to go, Klotz is a great pick, go all out. Because, yeah, he'll take a building, but then you get his production and can take that building right back. So, Klotz, I, I think you're totally right. Whew. Alright. It's 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> it was so close. Oh god, and he's taking me to a macro map. 
All right, who are we playing here? This is do or die. Picking Stella. I think I'm gonna go Dora. Also, I did not see if this was a special mode, so... Oh wait! Hold up. If it's not getting the hill, I think we have to stop. I'm just gonna exit out real quick before the match starts and just refer to the rules real quick. Uh, um, real quick here. Um, rules, I just wanna make sure. Man rules. Um, does anybody, um, so like, it has to be King of the Hill, right? Or is that like outdated rules? Turn the mode must be turned on. 30 minutes. Da da da. And then those are the main rules. So it's not in the main rules. So detailed rules. Time for him. Six minutes. Yeah, both at this time. So after 10 minutes, you get a technical win. Yeah, it doesn't have to be King of the Hill. All right, cool. No king of the rule claws in there, so we are good to go. Alright, let's do this. So this is pure macro. Whoever is the better player should win this. Which is scary, because I know what ain't me. Get to that late. I think I get in right. Oh, damn. Oh no! I missed sent. Doesn't really matter. I think I'm still in there, but I'm a little bit down on morale. Just a little unfortunate. But I do have chickens, but I do want to wait. I gotta use chickens. I just have to. He's gonna use third though. So next time he does it all in, I have to be. Where is it? Oh shoot, okay. Let's see if we can bring this back. Morale, I'm fine. I just gotta get some. Oh shoot. I, yeah, that's it. Alright! GG, well played. So, that is my run. Honestly, I'll take it, because what is that, top 8? No, top I think it's top 8. I put this on the other node. No, it's okay. Like honestly, he out he outplayed me there. I um what happened there? I, I really thought I could take the 10, even though I did not realize how many troops he does. And honestly, that just comes with me not playing for a hot second. <laughs> it's been like two months, so I haven't he's he's obviously more experienced as right now, so. Yeah, he knows he just needs to 
uh, the D8 matchup a little bit better, and therefore he won. So congrats to him. Honestly, his every game he won, uh, every game he won was uh, he. Well, to be fair, the first the first map, great strat. I probably could have with that matchup, the uh, um, Pixo Moral matchup. I probably could have done something to pull out, but I just played it incorrectly, and that's again lack of. Uh, Lack of preparation. I kind of just joined this last minute, uh, but then every game I played, I won. My strats worked. It was close, but they worked. But all his strats were phenomenal. Like that one, I couldn't do anything. There's not one thing I could have done. And uh, well, there's something I could have done. I just, I don't. I, he he knew the ma he knew exactly what needed to be done, and I didn't. So, and then that last match, he just has better mechanics again. So, great games, but. Um, so for the rest of this now, I think I'm just going to cast some games, that's all. Review, take a look at them, see who ended up, ends up winning this. But yeah, that's actually real quick. I'm, I'm curious how close I got. So, here's where my run ended. So, oh damn, I just needed to win. If I won, the oh yeah, so I, I got top eight, right? Because this is top four and this is top two. If I won that game and won the, the next one, it would have been Z-Sense. I haven't played Zsense in a second. Oh, Zsense pulled through. We're, I think we're going to watch this match. That seems like a really good match. Also, um, now is the time. If you want to see any specific matches, check out the bracket yourself. We'll just be going through them, and hopefully they're still there and check them out. But, man, there's so many good players right now where towards the top you always get these 2-3s, 3-2s. Especially now that Eclipse is out of the way where he just stops 3 0 people. But, dang. Cool. I was one game away from it. I was totally possible too. Should have prepped more. Well, next time. Next time, gotta get gotta get into the final tournament. So, all right, yeah. So if no one has games set up, oh, I'm gonna actually reset this real quick. Um, that real quick. That real quick. All right, we'll finish watching the games of these tournaments. Yeah, thank you guys for st sticking around for my run and cheering for me, especially you, Jorge. Your support was invaluable. I really appreciate it every time. You're just you're just such a diehard fan. I really appreciate it. But yeah, let's take a look at this game. This seems like an amazing game. And we'll also check out the games as they happen, too. But this is just um, one that I really want to check out myself. Let's see Suns vs. Vampire. All right, let's watch game one. Oh wow, quick one. <laughs> oh, also, hey Mango, did not see you there. Welcome, I appreciate you joining in. A very basic game so far. Both are doing Pixo things, trying to be annoying. In classic Pixo nature. Ends up about even. Both get their forges, both are doing their normal things, etc. Now apparently, is that the the normal strat is to go 10 down the middle? Because I did not know that. I was just freestyling out here. Ooh, good picks from Vampire. But the, literally, Zeeson did the exact same thing. But Vampire is in a much better position to defend right now. So, ooh, that's an overcommit. He's going to lose his battle in the main. Yeah, Vampire wins this. Zeeson's lost his main and couldn't take his opponent's main. So, unfortunate. Yeah. Quick first little match there. Nothing too out of the normal. Oh! Pfft. Ah, yes. Classic. Classic me. Oh, that's not good. Let's fix that. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll rewatch it. Because, in my opinion, nothing. It was pretty much. Oh, that's I think, man. It wasn't, like. It wasn't. Nothing crazy really happened. But, still a fairly just typical game. Yes, Fase, here are your Z Sense games. Uh, here's the game one versus him and Vampire. 
It's a pretty standard opening. Now that you can actually see. Um, <laughs> um, so just upgrading, you know, the usual things. Both are playing Pixel. So, <laughs> yeah, reacting, uh, just uh, video reactions, but without the video. Just reactions. <laughs> but yeah, both are being annoying, doing Pixel things, as one Pixel does. Um, pretty standard, just taking the forges. The huge. And uh, Zeeson's go going to the forge a bit late, so Vampire end up probably had a little bit easier time taking that forge because he took that forge earlier, but Zeeson's went for the upgrade instead. Zeeson's going to the 10. Again, this is what I was saying. I don't understand why this is the standard, which is going down to that 10. It just seems interesting. But yeah, then we have the double... Um, the double skip, where um, Zeeson's end up losing his main, where now he's on the clock, where he has to take his opponent's main in time, but he ends up not being able to, and actually overcommits here, and then eventually ends up losing his forge, and at this point it's kind of over. Uh, his uh, his main's gone, and Vampire ended up keeping his main, and all he has down is the bottom right, so that is game one. Pretty typical. I just I think they they both did the same thing, and Vampire just ended up doing it a little bit better. And that might have been by luck. That might have been by skill. I honestly don't know. Um, I think Zsense rushed his second a little bit there, and then that kind of started his downfall. What uh, Vampire really waited to make sure his units were out of the way. So when he did his second, it's only his unit. So good job there. But game two, um. Yes. I was like, wait, is this the same map? Did something happen? No. The real Z Sense versus Vampire. Let's see how this works. Vampire is up 1 0 at this point, even though we know what the score is. Um, here we go. Standard opener, I think. I don't really know the standard. Oh, wow. Um, Z Sense going for that 5 really early, and he ends up taking it. How long does he get to hold it though? Does it give him much of an advantage? He has a little bit of morale advantage, and he can now just sweep there because Vampire is too busy taking his tower back. So Zeeson's firm control of this game right now, but Vampire's coming in. Yep, third. So now it's kind of an even game now. He's continuing on. Um, does he. Oh, and Zeeson's barely doesn't defend, but gets it back. Um, so now it's looking like we're going to get to a standard game. Vampire's sending a lot of troops to the top there, but nothing's happening. I think they're just going to macro up here, do a bunch of upgrades, you know, the usual. Um, Vampire ends up taking the mid fast, which is really good, but we got to be careful. Oh, he's going for the forge there. And I, I like this play because, oh, good silence, but does it enough? It is enough, okay. But this is just going to try again. Actually, oh, he has the troop count. He can just try again. But yeah, now you gotta watch out because he knows you're gonna try again. So he's just gonna try to do misdirections to make you not do it. And oh yeah, he just that's the better move there. Now uh, they end up taking each other's towers, but the Z Sense is probably gonna keep his well, Vampire's gonna lose. Yep, there we go. Um gets a nice little cheeky thing. But remember, he still has that tower. That tower is being annoying. Ends up taking the forge there. And it looks like uh Z Sense just overwhelmed. Yeah, very very interesting. that was a interesting start. I, I like the chaoticness in the beginning and then we got to a normal game, and the thing, what happened there is because Vampire ended up using his third early, he couldn't like contest the third back. So really, he probably should have let him third his building there instead of silencing. Yeah, the silence gave you a one star morale advantage, but now he goes right in. Just by having it, he can't go into your your tower. But as soon as that ended, he has to go into your tower. So good, good, good decisions to try to stop that from happening. Because he tried to like misdirect and be like, oh, I'm going to attack your things if you try to attack me. But it just wasn't enough, because Zsense was Zsense, the almighty player that he is. Oops, Oops that's not mastery plays. Uh, Zsense, the almighty player that he is, was able to kind of, I know what you're going to do, I'm going to defend. Yes, we are Zsense fanboys here. This is a Zsense positive channel. Alright, the score is 1-1 now. And we have, uh, it looks like um, Vampire's taking him on D3 here. Conquest. So, starting off. Um, fairly standard opener, except for it looks like Vampire's opting more for his control of his top, while Zsens is opting more for the control of his main base here. But they're probably going to take it around the same time. 
It's just now that Vampire has a little more troops on the top than Zeeson's has on the bottom. I say that as I think I'm wrong. Uh, Vampire is going in for the quick thing. That's a nice little move you can do. I think Zeeson's is going to hold, though. Is he? No, no, no he's going to lose. Oh, well, actually, um, let's make sure I'm right. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Um, fun little fact. This is not a balanced map. Because, as you can see here, uh, me and actually Cobra figured this out uh, when we were doing our... Uh, when we, play d3 a lot but if you actually look here this tower isn't shooting at the red troops it doesn't get to you versus on the top the tower will always shoot blues troops so you can see he can't trickle them in versus vampire can trickle into the bottom there so zinsense is looking a little grim for zinsense right now um a second's used from vampire to make sure he takes things and stays and he's looking very sparse on the bottom now but he's trying to go try to retake top control but I, yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. What Zeeson should have done here is, um, let's take a look at it. Because they're do both door, right? No, they don't really have offensive options except for maybe the first thing to the nearby village, which is what um, Vampire opts for. So you either want to do that yourself, Zeeson, or you want to send your main troops into where they need to go. For instance, they should have been sent bottom here. He had to get more troops bottom in order to deal with this, because even if he does take it, he's going to have more influx to the bottom than you do. So eventually, over time, he'd be able to take the bottom. So that's what ended up happening here, and because, I mean, morale's even here, but like, you see, since it was late, so that allowed enough troops to um, pile up on the top, which makes it easily defendable. But good game. All right, let's look at the next. So the score is two one. These ones is down here, which is crazy because. No spoilers, but if you were here for the spoilers, um, I won't say anything, but we got Chia Chia. I hate this map. I hate this matchup. I hate everything about this map and any matchups. So let's see how they do it. Um, so pretty typical. They're just getting their things, moving up, the, moving up. Forge comes out versus he sends not opting for the forge. Um, gets the Sandstorm off, so Zeeson's has a big positional advantage here. I wonder how he got it first. Oh, I'll just go backtrack real quick. I think it does it, is he just because he attacked faster? Yeah, he takes it. An instant. As soon as he got it. Boom. Nice. Okay, yeah. So, faster player is really good here if you're going to do the strat. But the only unfortunate thing is he's not going to have Sandstorm when they go for the middle. So he has, def he has um, definitely... Oh, but there goes the Sandstorm. Which, I don't know how I feel about that. I would have saved it a little bit, because getting that mid-tower is the big thing. To be fair, though, you do have Rolling Stones as Chia, so you can probably take it either which way. Just something to think about. But, um, yeah. He's expanding a little late. Uh, Zeeson's is going for the mid right now. This is where, if you had Sandstorm right now, you stop this, and you take it. But, he opted to try to delay, but couldn't get enough time in the time that he did delay. So it's definitely Vampire on the back foot here. So let's see how this looks, how this goes. Uh, stones come out, as we were talking about, but slow. Again, she is pretty good at defending against Chia. Um, but interesting noise. Maybe I should restart my game, try to get the noise to... I don't really know where that's coming from, but we'll see. But yeah, Jesus is just crushing at this point. He has morale advantage. Vampire really needed to do something with stones and just couldn't because Chia's good at defending Chia. Honestly, and again, that's where I think that sandstorm is what needed to happen there. He needed to save the sandstorm in order to take the mid. But it did not turn out that way. So GG. It's 2 2. Z sense it's tied, but Vampire gets to choose the map. So anything can happen. Who knows what happens here? There's no way of knowing. Alright, here we go. Yeah, the UFO did sound weird, didn't that? No. Nope. Interesting, so they both um, a fun fact about Kree, actually, I think is I always thought it was 75%, but if you send enough into this tower, you actually get your third right away. 
So that's what they end up doing. And you can see they both get the third. He sends the third units back right away. He sends the third back right away. It's just a, like, because this delay is really bad, especially if your opponent doesn't go for the tower, then they're going to get shot at. And that's just, it, it's game losing. So Kree's definitely a great hero here. But now both the thirds are gone, and it's just who can recover faster. Which I think it's just going to be an even game. Yeah, it looks like that's going to the 15, or maybe that's going, no, that's going to the 15. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the nice thing about getting the tower, though, is not only will you get your ability to screw over your opponent, but you also can just send things from your level 5 building. To be fair, Kree is not that big of a deal, because you have first anyway. But for other heroes, like Klotz, you can do a strategy like this. And it's really good. Really, really good. Would recommend. But uh, continuing on our game, they're just expanding. Nothing really crazy is happening here. Um, Vampire's going for the first kind of aggression. Just taking this a little bit early. I think it's early. I don't know. I don't play this map that much. I don't really know the standards, but looks like Z-Sense does the same thing. And goes there. Oh, but a fourth coming out. That's a great fourth. Um, what is happening here? Did they both use a fourth? And Z Sense didn't get his? Interesting. So Z Sense. Oh, that's a little weird. I want to go back to that, but uh, for now, it looks like Z Sense is losing this pretty handedly. So I wonder if he's going to be able to take this back. And if so, how? Oh, an invis? Ooh, gets that. Loses that, though. Um, and then takes that. And then I, I think he's out of the game. I am a little bit confused here. Am I, am I, am I lost or something? I'm going to go back later. So he goes for that. You go for that. That much I understand. And then you go for that. Um, but then he does that. And then... What happened with his UFO? I, wait, what? I'm, I'm so lost. No, he didn't take a base. What? What happened there? <laughs> what happened there? Hold on. Is this a replay glitch? That... Well, Hold up, hold up. I, I have so many questions. <laughs> wait, hold up. Hold up. Wait, wait a, wait a flippity minute. Is there, is there another game? No, that's... Zeusence wins. What? Am I... Am I missing something? So, Vampire? Zero, one... 1-1. One, 1-2. One. One, 2-2. Two. 3-2. Two, two. Two. So, Zizan's won. He's playing the next game. So Zizan's won this. Hold, hold up. I am so confused right now. Maybe it is just a replay bug. Because this, this happens. There's much more. So we know this happens. <laughs> But, um, maybe reloaded? Maybe, 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 um, Vampire had to go. That yeah, happened again. So, I guess let's just watch this all the way through. Maybe Ruta all comes out and wins? And then, alright, Vampire surrenders. And that's the game. I, I, I'm a little lost on that one. We'll have to consult. I don't know. Some. I, I, I have no idea what to say. That was very weird. Um. But I'm so lost. But see, since one, he moved on. Let's see, who is. Hold up, I have questions. So, we'll watch Seasons games next. Um, I'm just curious, who's left? So we're waiting on Faree and Hidden 2's match. And Bokchuk and Z-Sense played, so we'll watch those. And sadly, I know the outcome, but I won't spoil it. So here we go. 
Just so weird. I Zizan's played this, this, so he won. I don't know really how though. Okay, well, let's stop missing the play button. But yes, uh -huh. Pixel picks up. Apparently, the standard that I didn't get the memo for. Um, so they're doing their things, you know, the huge. Um, there's the first. There's the first. They're gonna push out anyway. Yeah, the real bugs. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. I, I missed that because I was reading the chat, but uh, here we go, here we go. This is the play. This is why I, this is why I always waited a little bit, is in case something like this happened. Because it looks like it, but now you have so many troops going in there. And plus, if you pick up that bottom forge too, easy win. Now Bogtok's looking real nice, nice and pretty. Ends up taking it, but like, for how long? Yeah. Dang. As much as I love Z-Sense. He got outplayed there. Uh, that was just a really good move from Bogtog. And what, what happens the rest of this game? Actually, it's there's still a game, because they have roughly the same production. And in fact, z -Sense has a little bit more production. So the game's not over by any means. Alright, it's kind of over now. <laughs> losing, 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 yeah, that building in the main really puts a damper on it. So, yeah, that's good again. This was in there for like a second. And yeah, I don't know why the UFOs sound like that. Oh, are we gonna crash? Oh, and we still have UFO sounds. Fun. <laughs> it is the real bugs. Alright, so Bog Talk is up 1 0 here. Wow, it looks like Z Sense is popping off on D8. I really like him taking them to D8. It's a short one too. Let's see what happens. Um takes that. It's gonna barely take that 15. Well, the Z Sense is gonna really take the 15. So Z Sense has the troops to back that up. Um, well, Bogtok really doesn't, but Bogtok has a lot of central defense there. So Bogtok tries to steal this on the bottom, and he gets it for a second. Yes, for a second, and takes it. Well, he takes up his top 10, too. So, but the bottom, the battle's really here at the bottom. Even though there is stuff happening at the top, should be defended there. Bogtog's really pushing in the bottom, but going at the forge, so Zizens ends up taking the top control. But, but just barely, he doesn't really have the troops to defend it, so... Um, but, oh, shoot, what happened at the bottom? This was, this was a wild match. Hold up, let's, let's, let's start this a little bit over. Ah, right, here we go, here we go. And so, right now, Zizens is winning at the top. Bogtog barely gets it on the bottom. Zizens ends up taking it back and goes for five, the greedy little boy, and ends up losing that bottom building again. At the same time, he's attacking top, getting that five, but he's getting attacked, defends, and ends up doing a counterattack there versus Bogtog really solidifying his hold in the bottom there. And he ends up losing his forge, but takes back Bogtog, that is, and he ends up going top. Uh, uses a quick third on the, the tower, getting it, but he ends up losing it. And Z-Sense takes it back and is able to take control of the bottom now. Yes, yes, may no. Barely gets the bottom. Um, Bogtok is still fighting for his life at the top. Um, ends up taking that top 10. Oh, but the treason comes out, really solidifying that top control. And Z-Sense also got the bottom control, takes the tower. And ooh, it is looking rough for Bogtok right now. Um, yeah, and the morale was mainly even, but Z-Sense really pulled out at the end there. Whew, that was... D8 is an action-filled map. My gosh. That was a good game. A lot of things happening. Dang. GG. Alright, here we are. Let's continue. All right, the score is 1-1, one, one, and it is Bogtok's map now. And he's being rude. I already saw the map. God dang. Good to, I'm stealing the strategy. This is awesome. And they both have the same idea? But Z-Sense is a little bit slower on it. But he's going to end up taking the main a little faster? But he's going to have to send back immediately. Oh, he double upgrades. That's not good. But he ends up taking that. Does he have his first? 
Double upgrades are big if you can keep it, but keeping it is a really hard thing to do against Murrow, especially with the such low production. I think he's going to defend that, because he does have the... Yeah, yeah, no, that's the move, that's the move. Because he wins now. He should win, right? Oh, he kills his troops! Oh, that's tragic! Zizans was in the lead, but now... He's still, he's still doing fine. Uh, he had the... Um, he had the real... He was doing so well where I think he had the game in the bag. But with that play, he ends up losing... Or, like, it becomes an even game. The fact, at this point, he tried to defend it, man. One of the things, when you have low eco, you really it's really do or die if you defend or die. Because if you defend, you get to keep the building. But if you don't, if you're not 100% sure, you might just want to exit it. Because or else those are just troops you lost. And yeah. Zsense doesn't... Yeah. That's where it ends. Dang. Uh, right over here. So Zsense loses this, because, like, what happens? He can't do anything. He's going to upgrade, and then he just has to set it first. And it's over. Well, actually, ooh. Not from... Uh, he might... Uh, that was a level 3 building. He might have... Hold up, hold up. There's a guy, where were you watching this? There's a lot. Of, first off, right here. Zsense literally had this game one. Right here, at this point in time, if if he didn't send those troops over there, look at this position. Uh, he's gonna have ten troops. He's gonna have like also ten. He can upgrade a little bit faster though, and he can upgrade fine right now because he's not gonna get attacked with the first for a second. But right here, that trickle of troops and that trickle of troops there, game ending, and it tries to end here. He might have, like, because let's look at the morale here for a sec. Ah, uh, no, he couldn't have, couldn't he? 10 troops, but that's like, yeah, 20. I don't think the math was in his favor. Unfortunate. Close, close, close. <laughs> yes, at officials, mushroom wars, too. The real bugs. <laughs> Oops, that's not what I want to do. But, um, what I want to do is this. Is I want to... Um, I want to watch the next match. Sorry. <laughs> um, I want to go to this. Yes. Spaced out there for a second. But this is the final match. Um, sadly, Zsense loses this 3-1. But let's see how it happens. Because Zsense was... He could have won that last one. Like, it should be 2-2 right now. So close. Again, hate this map. Hate this matchup. Both are doing the normal things. Zsense? Oh, it looks like Bokhtar's a little bit faster. He's just gonna... Yep, he gets it out first. Is that an orange thing that gets it out first? But, again, this is what I'm talking about. I don't really think this is the best use of a sandstorm. Because he's already advanced, the, he already he got the tower. So, I think he's just too far, if you do this, like, yeah, it's it keeps the game even, but if you just give it up, you'll get back and you'll eventually get that tower. I'm not 100% sure. But, yeah. So they're just doing their things, he, and now he's going for the tower, and they're both going to have their second, so it's just kind of a who gets it sort of situation. Honestly, what I would like to better is, instead of using the second, force um, the second use. So like, instead of, they both use their second, right? So Z-Sun's used his second to, the, to try to stop him, but Boktok has hidden second, right? So they both kind of canceled out, and Boktok just has the more trips because he has more. Uh, developed. So what I would 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 love to see in here is he's just letting that happen. Maybe trying to attack himself. Just so like yeah, he'll lose a little bit of morale, which is not good in his state right now. But then he would get the second out, which just means he can use his third later and get in there without having to worry about a second slowing him and not getting not you fully utilizing the third. But yeah, at this point, Bakta troops forge morale. He has every advantage. And that's gonna be the series. 3 1. See, since you're so close, man. Like, there's just a couple things here and there, and the game was yours. It's just unfortunate. A couple 
couple unfortunate mistakes here and there that can cost the game. But great run, man. Top four is pretty dang good. Now you're looking in that third place match. Fun. All right. So question to the viewers. Who do we want to see? Um, we saw this. We saw this. Um, uh, which of these matches would we prefer to see? Or do we just want to watch this one that is possibly ha actively happening? If not, we're going to probably... Eh, we can watch the active one. I'll see if I can find it, but... Here is the active one. So, we'll watch this unless someone wants to watch something else. But yeah, here is 3 versus Hidden 2. He made top 4, man. I always believed in Hidden 2. What, what a guy. And Aina versus Mario. Very, very, very interesting. I like that idea. Uh, Lock was a little bit late, so let's see how damaging this is. He's gonna take a building. It's just does he take more? Um, barely loses the second, but gets it back, and he should be able to retake his maze. But he doesn't know that. He does know that. Takes it, but he loses the forge, which is fine. He still has another forge, but it's looking very free favored right now. But then again, Hidden Two is very developed in his battle. But that's, ooh, that's gonna be killer. So Furry takes the bottom there. Looking real nice and pretty there. Um, ends up going for this attack, which will work. He'll get it, but at what cost? He's gonna lose his main. And there he goes, he tries to go across the map, which is a good idea, honestly. Just try to make the best of this bad situation. And he ends up gonna take, he's gonna take his opponent's main. I actually really like this position. Actually, hold up, hit it too, it's popping. He's doing real good right now. Um, he doesn't know what's happening, so he's going to lose something, but yeah, he's going to take that forge, and he's going to take the other forge, now free, he has no forges. Yeah, pretty much defends that, ooh, but he gets the third off on there, and he might, oh, he doesn't take it. So now, god, this is a great game. So he ends up taking his main back, he's going to take that tower, yeah, no, they didn't, oh, oh, that's not going in the tower, I thought it was going in the tower, but yeah, it wins. Dude, he brought that back, well, let's, let's look for a second. Right here. This was the position he brought it back from. Small mistake on Furry's part for um like it listen, I I I don't know what the like right here, not good. That's bad. That basically gives Furry bottom control. Actually not really, but there there's a lock there, not the best lock, and he ends up taking it. Furry's it was a good idea to attempt this, and he gets that, but he was a little too far forward, he just had nothing in his main. And yeah, Hidden sees that and just very attempted to defend, and really he couldn't have, so the best move there, kind of right here, would have been, he lost this, right? He probably, I know there was a lot of things going on, so it's kind of hard to do this on the fly, but what he really needed to do is kind of like go in here, where he needed to finish off the main. He can see the troops in the main, so he knows he can do it, and uh, try to uh, avoid hemorrhaging as much as he did because basically while attempting to defend this is going to give you a little bit morale when you have 3-3 morale this doesn't really matter because the amount of morale you're going to lose is not too much so I would have rather him see him try to you know focus on the, he kind of does try to do this here but it's a little late just focus on defending one of them or just taking your losses and making sure the other two aren't going to be taken after because right after here um, he does try to take his main but it's just not enough because he really splits up his attack, he should have won and then the other, and then here, he just doesn't have the things to defend here. So he ends up losing that. And he tries, the, the fog wasn't the best, he's gonna get something out of it, but, and the fog is just confusing, but, yeah, Hidden really brought that back. Crazy. But good job, Hidden. 1-0.
of a Kraken. It's kind of funny. Let's check out game number two. Wait, what? Furry took him here? Okay, one thing I know about the hits is they're amazing on this map. So the balls on Furry to take him to this map is insane. He must have a good strat or like something good in mind here. They're doing the same thing, so maybe... Uh, where's the freeze? They both freeze, and... Furry gets it. Dang. Dang. Good job, man. The snakes. The snakes. Them snakes. Crazy. Okay, cool, cool. So, he's looking really good. Winning him around, winning on things. He's really just winning. Um... Let's see, what is Hidden 2 going to do to try to claw his way back into this game? Um, okay. Did he mean to upgrade that? He must have. I guess he takes it. I was just, I think that was highly contestable. But okay. Um, there we go. He's holding that there. Just upgrading, which is smart. He needs production. I don't. I guess yeah. It is nice to have that second forge because it is a trinity versus trinity. So never mind. I was gonna say that was questionable, but not really. So now he's going here, which is an interesting move. Is he gonna get it? Yeah, he is going. Oh wow! He just seeds it. Okay. He is slowly clawing his way back into this game. Yes, he is on the clock though. That's the one thing he has to be cognizant about. And trinity is very good at defending. So let's see what. How does he attempt to do this? Uh, turning that back into a village, right? Yeah, yeah. And he's just gonna try to upgrade, get some round going. He's gonna have to need another forge at some point and do something. But for now, just building up. And it, we also should note the difference in the units. Furry has so many more units. And he's fully upgraded, so he doesn't need a, he's only getting more. So we'll see how it plays out here. But here he goes. This is where the attack is coming. He's gonna need another forge here in a sec. Or this is just a huge... Alright, try, try... Oh! Okay. He's going for a super snake play. Where is he going? Oh, he's going around town, isn't he? Now, really trying to misdirect here. I really love this. Um, yeah, forces the alts because he has to do something. And now that the alt's gone, he has the second forge. He can just brute force his way into somewhere. I think he's gonna get that. Oh, but he gets a third right in time. Actually, I'm curious. Let's go back here a sec. Did he end up throwing troops away to get that? Yeah, there's the tornado. He lost a lot of troops to his tornado. Um. Oh! Dude, did you guys see that? Um, at the bottom of the screen there. Um, Hidden accidentally threw away his freeze. Which is so unfortunate. You can see freeze right there at the bottom of the screen. Unfortunate, and Free just gets his freeze in time. Honestly, a it was so close to being amazing. He just needed a, 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 like maybe three seconds faster on his attack to the King of the Hill. Maybe if he did it at the same time, he would have got it. But oh wow, he actually ends up getting it. And yeah, the the way it's gonna turn out. Oh wow, he didn't. Is he gonna win this? He gets that. Um, the clock is. The clock's in his favor, isn't it? Yeah, the clock's totally, he wins this. If, if Freeze is the one who has to do something here. So he just has to def focus on defending the top, but he's going for an attack. The crazy man, he's crazy. Someone stop him. Too crazy. And in fact, I think that, I mean, Freeze still has to do something. Oh, he still gets it? What is happening? No way, I didn't think it, this was possible. I mean, he's gonna get it back, but that's, who cares? Freeze losing this. Yeah, I don't know why the audio is so weird. It might be a my phone thing. Maybe my computer. We'll find out. But, yeah. Jeez. Well, That's a game. Holy crap. Let, let's, let's take a look at this. This was the position. This is the position he took this... He, he clawed his way back to this game from. From here. With the really... This, like, can we, yeah, we're going to watch this again. This is, this is incredible. So let's let's look what he did here. This is why I love Zor. His attacks incredible. So he does this. 
I, I, and this is why he went up, because he was going to super snake from here, because um, if he just attacked from the, the buildings that he sent through, he's not going around the world like he, like to do the misdirection. So he has to do this in order to get it to go to that building. So he does that. There's a bunch of these troops here. Free has no idea where they're going. And then he ends up, boom, forging. And if he timed it just a little bit better where it happened at the same time, it would have been so much better. But it doesn't matter. It who cares? He's going to get in here. And he also wasted a freeze here. He'd wasted, he could have had a freeze here to help him out. And this, I thought this was going to be so bad. Why didn't a free need to like, stack this more? I, I didn't realize there were that many troops there. And yeah, he's attacking more too. Um, did he freeze a forge? No. There's no freeze forge either. And he used the fourth. And that's going to let him keep it. He ends up taking that. And yeah, a couple, a couple of mistakes here and there. And so I was going to run away the game. That's crazy. Okay. 2 0 Zoro? Is that really what's happening here? What the heck? I, I honestly, listen, I love Zoro at all, but I definitely thought um, Free was winning this. Like, oh my god. This is. Um, so, yeah. Hit him on that, hit him on that. So that was really Free's pick. He really picked that map. That's crazy to me. I would never pick that map against Zora. Like, Free the Madman. Tried and failed. So now we have Hidden. Okay. Now, um, Hidden's doing this, which is interesting. Because I, I think Aner is better at this. But Kree's not a bad pick. I think Kree can win this. But they do the same thing, where this is, I think, the best strat. But he just has lock right now. And... I don't really like going for the 15. If you go for the 15 against an Aener, they they have complete control over you. Like, you're going to have, if they're good, they're going to make sure you have like 10, 15 units locked up, and that's all it takes. And we can see here, 20 troops, doesn't matter, he wins the bomb now. There's nothing you can do. He gets this, now he just has to fortify. And also behind this, they're also expanded really nicely. Sometimes people forget about doing that when they do the strategy, so very nice. And yeah, he sees that he needs to take the mid. I literally played a game just exactly like this, so that's cool to see that Free also agrees with my playstyle. But here we go, or at least on this map. So we do this, and then he does that, and Free just relaxes. He's winning. He doesn't need to do anything. He's going to bide his time. What can Kree do here? Kree's only win condition here is to do something with invisibility. That's Or else Free should be able to defend anything else. Um, so... He's going to have a big invisibility play here. And Free can't really do his rage attack because there is the third waiting. So now we're just playing the waiting game. Everyone's upgrading. Doing typical micro. Oh, but Furry's going for it. I think he's going to attempt to bait it out. And that's a really good attack. So something I just want to note here that's really high level is... um, oh, Let me go back here. Um, One thing you have to pay attention to when you, when you kind of look at the game state. If you have... Like, let's say right now, they're kind of in an ability statement, stalemate. If anyone tries to do something with that ability, except for, honestly, Kree can do something. He can be the one to attack with invisibility, but he doesn't want to. He's on the down foot. Yeah, he needs to do something, but right now he just wants to stay, attempt to stay in the game. He wants to upgrade. He just wants to get back in this game. He doesn't want to attack. So really, if Kree wants to go for the win right now, he wants to be the one to attack. So what he wants to do now is to try to bait an ability. He needs to do an attack, and he can't really use an ability, or else it's going to be countered with an ability. So he, in order to do a good one, what he sees here is if you look at where he attacked, he attacked the building that has a 32 right now towards the bottom half of the map. Right, center bottom, 32 units. What, because, if you think about it, how can that building be defended? There are really only two ways this building can be defended, right? It's going to be the um, left of that, the 22, and above that, the tower, right? And if you think of, in, in order, the all... That's the nearest things. The other things that could defend it is like the forge, the 13 and the 15 towards the top. But that's so far, by the time you realize that attack's coming, if you send those troops, they're just going to be morale for your opponent. So by choosing this building nicely, there's only two things that are nearby. So if he sends... Oop, I always forget that happens. So by doing this, um, we'll see here in a sec here. Um, speed it up a bit. It's so right here. He ends up going for this attack because he knows, first off, he thinks there's not too many troops there. And also, he can't really defend this. He needs, like, if he attacks this with, like, 
150 troops, you need 150 troops basically dead in order to defend that. There's no way in heck he's going to be able to get to 150 troops there in time. So, great play on his part to do that, or to see that. Um, now we're just chilling here for a bit. And Free just really has the high ground here. I'm just chilling, getting ready for attack, it looks like. Alright, got the music going again, perhaps. And yeah, like, how, I mean, Kree's a little bit different, because he can actually defend that with his thing. And that was a smart play, I guess. Like, it's very hard to react that fast, especially when you already used an ability to stop it, and you think that's going to be enough. So, good, good, good redone for Reese's part. There's the invisibility. And honestly, he could do some work here. He really needs this attack to work. And I want to say it's not going to work. Yeah, he just has so much morale. Also, did he use a second there? Let's, let's go back a little bit. I know I'm missing things a lot on the fly, but... So he gets that. And now he's down to morale. Yeah, he's down to morale here, so he's going to use a second as soon as he sees the troops come out. There the troops come out. Locks. And then seconds. So now we have equal morale. And by the time these units get here, he's going to have a lot more morale. Two stars, four stars. The troops advantage. Pretty much all the advantages. The only thing he has now is reverse or something else. There's the reverse. Doesn't matter though, because now he has rage. So GG's out because he knows. And allow me to attempt to get some music going. Alright, bring the music there. And we'll put some music on there. Alright, cool. So the score is 1 3 right now. Um, where who am I looking for again? I'm. Z. No, it wasn't Z sunscreen. God, I'm literally blinking so hard. Hidden 2 and free. There's free. Okay, cool. I'm like, what am I looking for here? So Z sense. No, we don't care about Z sense. So yeah, it is 2 to 1 right now. Hidden 2 is up. Alright, here we go. Continuing on. Standard openings. Um, Hidden 2 is playing Pixo. I'm surprised he didn't do the root strat, which is just to like throw out the first railway. So he must be just trying to second hop. That's his idea here. He's going very aggressive down there. Um, will he get it is the question. They're gonna. Oh, this is. He's gonna get a lot of morale. That's for sure. Yeah, two stars of morale. And he keeps a thing. Ah, there. Gets the forge right away. Heading towards it. I think if he wants to take this, I think he. Yeah, no, he just have to seed it. He has a fourth, though, which is nice. He's gonna use it right here to expand a bit. So, Freeze is definitely not out. He's just a little bit down on position wise. And he's down on ability wise. Oh, he's about even on ability wise. So what's the move now? He's just upgrading, which is good because he needs the morale right now. Versus hidden two, who has the morale already. It's just gonna go for uh, King of the Hill. Understandable. So now that puts free on the clock. He's got to take his own. But also, ooh, he's got a fourth. It's gonna be kind of hard to take your own now. I would have actually probably liked to seen you take it earlier rather than going for the fourth because yeah, by him attacking that he's gonna get a lot of morale. Or not morale, but mana. And now uh, yeah, he just <laughs> he, yeah, free can't do anything because there's a fourth. Yeah, boom. And free's out. Why why did you pick why did he pick Kree on this map? I feel like there's a lot of other heroes that would be better, but he picked Kree here. So huge upset for him too, man. I'm glad he he made it. He's top two. <laughs> Love to see their games now. But holy crap. He finally did it. I remember there was the um, the first tournament, which was of this, which was, I don't know, it was the beginning of summer, right? Or middle of summer? Anyway, I remember I played on second round, and he was so nervous. And now look at him. 
like three months later, and second in this tournament. Crazy, man. Crazy. But character development here. Love to see it. Man, well, GG, well played, Zoro. You've earned it. Really proud of you, man. Why do I, why, why do I blink so much? Um, where is my best friend? Um, Z sunset. Why did you guys hop offline? It makes looking at these things so much harder. Ugh. Here we go. So free versus Z Sense for third place. Um, let's just go quick before I start. Let's take a look at this real quick so you can see kind of what has happened so far in the bracket wise, even though we kind of went through it. What? Alright, well there's a lot of things we have to watch out here. But here's kind of what ended up happening in this tournament. So let's see kind of how it happened. Shall we? Alright, let me actually put the game so I'm not casting to no one again. I'm not casting without anything backing me up. So let's watch this. Zizans versus Free. What happens here? Game one, Mario. I ri I'm I I I don't hate the Mario, I just I think Mario is kind of a crazy pick. Like, he can do some good things, but, like, for third place, it seems a bit risky. But hey, all to you if you can do this. So there, there's the thing. Seasons is not going out, though. It's taking a sweet time. He's gonna go for it again? Yeah, he is. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh! Smart. I really like that play, actually. Except for, um, is it defended? No, he gets it. Yeah, no, I like it. And, oh gosh, forge. He ends up taking the forge. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really, I, I against Pixel, I don't, I just have to pick Pixel. There is counterplays, but it's hard. It's hard. That's tough. All right, that's game one. Alrighty, on to the next match. It is 1 0 Z Sense. Z Daddy is winning. Or, it's Zens. Or, Zens? I, you told me how to pronounce that at one point, but I forgot. I'm sorry. It's Zens. I'll just call him Z Daddy. But here we go. The rudeness is coming out. Free. Oh, wait. This is illegal, isn't it? He already... No, he didn't play. He played Mario. My bad. That is on me. So, yeah. This is legal. A rude pick. But, legal. Uh, going well so far. He's going for that. Stopping him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's just gonna barge in there. Yeah, he can't... Oh, why didn't you just take the forge? The forge was yours, man. But hey, I mean, still position-wise. Is it enough? No, it's not enough. I guess hey, it works. Honestly, that really just slows you down. Pings are first, man. You kind of just have to, if you're going to play into it, you have to seed a lot of land and hope that your third is going to be better enough to, like, make up for all that land. Those territories lost. It is chance. I thought so. That is my bad. Actually, I was saying sense, not chance. I was. I will get that right. But yeah, 1-1. One, one. Three striking back.
not mine. We don't care about me. Zen uh, or shots? Shots. Shots. Shots game. Of course, Shots. Shots' favorite counter pick map. He always goes to DA when he loses. Or at least he has been this tournament. A little bit of a shorter one. Let's see. We know Shantz likes to go for his top shenanigans. So let's see how it plays out. Actually, he doesn't even go for the 10. That's crazy. I like it. Yeah, so he gets playing pretty good a little bit later on that. But he ends up taking um, Furry's top side. Furry's going for it. He should be able to get it. But Shantz decides maybe I can trade. It doesn't get it. Close, though. So he seeds kind of free his top side. Well, Free's. I mean, it's... Should be it should end up even unless Free wants to do something on the bottom half. So a lot less crazy as matches we've seen today. But all right. Oh, he's this. Oh, well, actually, I guess he's got third. There should be a silence. Interesting. He just all right. I guess I feel like they just gave him more morale than you. Want. I mean, they're both at three stars, so it doesn't really matter. Is there a sandstorm coming? No sandstorm. Just letting him him. Okay. Sure. Sure. That's not the worst. Opting to just upgrade. Um, he's going in. Probably going to be a third here. Yeah. Um, that actually worked out really nicely because as soon, uh, as soon as you lose the third, it loses forever. So the next attacks won't get it. So good defense. And now, yep, pushing that. Should just be able to get that, and that's a lot of going to be a long loss of morale for Z Sense because he's kind of hemorrhaging units there. And yeah, now Freddy's just running him down. He's, um, yeah, that's just how it, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Dang, just one kind of misplay, and yeah, he lost too many units that he should have been using for defense, and Freddy could just run him over. Dang, yeah, where did, where, where did this game go wrong? I'm curious. Because, like, right here, it was even. Um, it's even until... Yeah, he goes for this attack. And then, yeah, great second. Like, kind of a lucky second. Kind of, I don't I don't really know. The timing, I couldn't time that. So, if he can, amazing. But great second to end up keeping that. And yeah, just pushes him there, and yeah, z just wasn't ready for the counter. He had 70 troops in that top building that could have been really nice to defend that forge. But he just didn't have it, so that three just ends up bringing him down. Good game. Um, let's keep watching. So it is... Um, I think the score is 2-1 now, free, right? Because, oh, that's Bob Talk. So, z won that. Yeah, 2-1 z right now, or 2-1 free right now, going into this match. Game number four. Or, <laughs> chance, I gotta remember, oh my god, who did this? z -Sense? is this you? Because this is so stupidly rude. Interesting. I mean, yeah, yeah, I've seen this strat before. It's a good strat. Not bad at all. I actually prefer this strat over all the strats. So, good knowledge there. So, I guess, yeah, this was a Z-Sense pick. I, I still... I, I, I lost a lot of respect for you right here, Sans. Picking D12. But, anywho, we're getting the game here. It looks like a third's gonna happen. Yeah, there's the third. I, I kind of, I really like this idea of I'm just gonna get in your base. And I'm, yeah, if he's he's gonna steal the king of the hill, that's a lot of production for you. And he gets two king of the hill. That's crazy. Yeah, no, this is a really looking good for free. I really like his position. Now this seems like um, a Rolling Stones is gonna happen. No, eh, is it? Yeah. 
Interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is how he gets his base back. Yeah, no, I, I kind of, I, 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 even if it's using the sandstorm, I think it's worth it. Because I, I, I just don't see how Faree comes, like, I mean, he's sick. Zick can do some, oh, he barely takes that, oh. But the tower's up, he should make another tower. He needs to take his tower so he can actually defend things. But there's no jump shenanigans, so this is just going to be honest to God Zick play. He just has to... If Zizans can put the troops where they're going into the buildings, it's going to look really good for him. Yeah. Oh, there's the second. Is it enough, though? I think, no, they're going to get in there. That's a lot of morale for Zizans. Or, ch chance. Chance. Um, he's got a fourth, but no morale. Uh, third trying for something, but I, yeah, he just has so much morale. Yeah, and that's the Zeeson's one. Or Ch <laughs> Chance. I'm so used to saying Zeeson's. I clearly remember it. Chance. I'm gonna give it a chance. <laughs> Alright, it is 2 2 right now. Who could possibly win this in the epic third place finale match? Here we go. Just kidding, Roger Morris doesn't want to load. Here we go. <laughs> I think we just played extras. Unless this is best of seven. I will consult the sacred text. I actually you, you, I might be so advanced rules, time for. No, no, it's totally best out of three. Yeah, it's best out of five all the way. So yeah, this is for the win right here. Got it. If, I swear to God, I hate this map. I'm gonna have to learn how to play it now because all all these people are playing it, and I very much disapprove of it. All right, we are not playing this map. Thank God, I probably should have been able to see that in the details that I just am not smart enough to look at. Um, uh, try to. <laughs> um. Yeah, yeah, that's three seconds. I should know. Anyway, oh. Who will get third place? Going home with actual stuff. And who will get fourth place? Going home with shame. <coughs> <coughs> we'll find out right now in the epic finale of Furry versus Chance. The real Chance. <coughs> oh, dang. What even happened there? Hold up, did it kill some of his troops? Oh no, he, yeah, yeah, no, it's against Stella, so you have to, like, be very careful. So will a treason come out here? The answer is no. Careful and methodically. A very smart shout. Because the strat that Stella's do on this map is they wait and then they send out uh, a treason to take that to really stall them, and it sucks. So, good on him. Um, for he makes a forge in the back and goes up. Now the nice thing now is because he he lost some thing, he's lost some uh, position via his fourth, but now he still has his fourth, and we're going for that third of uh, the middle tower now. So very interesting. Normally what you want to do is follow that up with something, but the fourth gets it for a second, but then he ends up losing it. But he does get morale. Morale's big, and now the second's down, so he can do things. If he can get his third up real fast here. But I don't think he's gonna get it up in time. But Shad's looking really good right now. Great position for him. He's just gotta watch out for that third of Stella. Yeah, <laughs> I will try to, sexy Dora. But here we go. Everyone's just upgrading kind of he, uh, Furry really needed his third there, but he just wasn't able to get it. But now it came out that it doesn't matter, the second's already up. So let's see. Looks like he's going for an attack now. Yep, he's going for something. I think. Unless he's not. No, he's not. <laughs> I got fake. Um, so I think he's gonna want to make that attack. Or, yeah, that's exactly what's happening here. So, at this point... If, yeah, no, if either player wants to win, they have to do something here. 
but still is the much more I can actually attack person, while Zeeslance, or Shance, is the much more I want to just defend person. So, this is a very interesting situation. I wonder who's going to be the first to go. Oh, I, I, there's our answer. Third's out, but, oh, Silence dude. yep. The classic, the Stella silent, uh, third and silence. Literally can't do anything about it. So, yeah. Three takes the advantage here. And will he defend this? Oh, he might, he might, he might. He loses it. Will he get it back? Ooh, is he going to get it back? Well, he isn't. Very, honestly, I thought he was going to defend that. But the morale is just too much now in Furry's favor. He's just going to overrun him. He can't really send to defend this because it's going to be treason, isn't it? No, it wasn't. There's the treason. And yeah, no, that's a free victory. Great third place for um, our boy Ares slash furry slash... I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that because I'm going to offend someone. Because I can't pronounce for jack shit, but congrats furry. Well done on your third place victory. And Chance, listen, fourth place is still good, buddy. I'm, you did like honestly. Look like let's look at your bracket, bracket real quick. Your bracket was hard, man. You got, you got vampire. You had to go against Bokhtok. An easier, an easier bracket day. You had this, but you you played very well, man. Just a, honestly, there's just a couple mistakes here and there that were like you literally had the game won, and if the pathing just didn't work in your favor, and it, a bunch of really weird, unlucky mistakes. So really well done, though. Alright, and now for the main event that we've all been waiting for. Who wins this? Is it going to be Bokhtok? Or is it going to be Hidden 2? Find out in this epic season se series finale that is happening right now. Let's go right into this. Here we go. Alright, standard start. I didn't you going with the Aner pick. Well, Bokhtok's going for... The, honestly, I think Aner is one of the series that actually could do this. We'll see how it plays out, though. Alright, both are waiting. Oh, he did not get... Oh, I don't like that lock, man. And, oh. Yeah. Wait, hold up. I, I I I missed the placement of the um, UFO. So there's a lock there. I really uh, well the lock's there now, and the UFO is nowhere. It it, it says it was used. Okay, much more is glitches. Good, fair enough. Um, but yeah, now that listen, I love that strat. Black dog, keep it up. Ten out of ten. Just out that you always gotta wait there. You have to wait, or else you're gonna get bamboozled, just like it in two was. But nice try. That is game one zero one. Oh nope! I don't want to look at you. We already did you. Uh, there's so many hiddens. The hiddens are hidden. Alright, here we go. Game two. Now, taking it, hidden two, taking a page right out of my book. You don't have Pixel? I'm gonna punish you for it. Go into a map that is very Pixel favored. So, Bokhtar, to try to counteract this, goes with the Keenor. Trying to be able to play extra defensive against the Pixel shenanigans. He gets out early. Respectable. And now he's upgrading. Um, will there be a first coming out from Hidden 2? There will not be. It's just a bait. Um, now he's just upgrading basically. I, honestly, it's fairly even. Let's see where the unevenness comes in. To be fair, now this is what Hidden 2 does, is he goes for 15, as we see here. And there's not literally nothing he can do. Yeah, uh, He really needed a position of troops there, but if he ch attempts to, then he's just going to get first. So he really just has to seed that. Um, so, yep, otherwise, that's just expanding. 
the only nice thing about this is Boktok is going to get more troops than Hidden Will because he took the extra time to expand, which costs troops to upgrade and whatnot. So we can see here, Boktok has a small troop advantage, which let's see how he uses it. I think he's going to go for the 100, bomb the 55 then. But let's see. Oh, he's going for the other. Ooh. Bold going for an attack. Interesting, interesting. Um, he ends up defending the thing that eventually can go to the thing. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, yeah. It was like, you should get in there handily. So, fairly even game. He has a bomb now, so he's gonna be able to bomb that and get it. Boom. So, even game, except for the fact Cannon 2 has 4th, while Boktok does not. But. Yep, so, oh, this is where it gets dangerous. So, he gets that, and Boktok really can't go into his 100. I mean, he's. He needs to bait out the 4th first. But, oh, that's a pretty good third. But now the fourth stop, he can take his thing as he wants. He did lose quite a bit of troops there, but, like, it's doable. But, honestly, he might not want to because, yeah, there might be an attack coming and he's going to need the troops to defend. Which is good because that's just more time in him to his favor. So, he doesn't have, also have enough co for the combo. And, oh, he must have been studying the games because he knew that's what um, Hitman likes to do. And he's actually able to defend that and take... Oh, wow. Nice. I honestly thought, yeah, that was going to be a steamroll, but no. No, the morale is in his advantage. Yeah, he has fourth, but that's not going to give you morale. It's just going to stop one attack. What about the rest? Here they come. Marching in. Is there a fourth coming out? No fourth, just taking it for the team. Okay, he gets three-star morale. Use that fourth. So he should be able to defend it if he gets the troops there. Um, Yep, there he goes. you got to be able to defend that. Even morale game, so this is very comebackable. There's the fourth. Ooh, loses another building in his main. It's definitely not over, but it's not looking good. Um, ooh, maybe with the first he might have been able to defend, but no first there. So he takes one building back. He needs to take one more in order to win this. Or to, like, break even here, but he's going right into the throat. Yep, there's your king of the hill down. And, ooh, a little late with the third units. Not going to get too much value out of that. Um, he ends up going in there. He's not going to get it, though, isn't he? Yeah, no. And now... Yeah, he's gonna have to do a last ditch effort play here. A little desperate and uh, barely doesn't get it. Barely doesn't get it. But even if he got it, he was probably gonna lose it. Close, but no cigar. Let's 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 kinda analyze this a bit. Right here, he's winning. For sure. And he wins for quite a bit here. Like, yeah, you're gonna lose this, but that's easily take back a ball. It was a good this it was really I really like that decision on on Boxlock's part. To like, but now we kind of have an even game. He takes that. Um, up to here, it's fine. Whatever has happened. Now, good play. The fourth gone. So, he could possibly take it, but this was good kind of game sense, where he really wants to go for this attack now, because he knows he has a troop advantage, and there's not there's one defensive ability, really. Um, so, and honestly, I'm so shocked that... Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> Every time I try to pause. Here's the attack. So I'm so surprised this attack didn't work because. Oh, wait, not this attack. <laughs> I'm struggling here. Um, yeah, he does this. There's the third. And now we have the attack coming. Because look how much he's attacking with. Right now he has double, basically double the troops. A little less than double. But he's attacking, and um, also while he's attacking this, Boktok thinks he's going for the 100. How did he not take anything here? How many troops does he lose here? Like a hundred? How many were defending? Wow, okay, I guess it's just the power of a tower, man. Towers are strong. Great defense, and now that just turns the tide, and that's the game. Like, really what he needed to do there is... Honestly, I really think the best move there was just attacking the King of the Hill. Like, honestly, 100% all, like, 75% of all your troops in there, there's nothing Bokdok can do to stop that. But, dang. Very good defense, and that's the game. Crazy. Ah yes, Jenny, I do like using the word whatnot. <laughs> I'm gonna use it a little bit more than I should. <laughs> um, where is my Bach Chakra hidden too? There we go. 
And now, the last game. I wonder who could win this. But game three of our final series, who could possibly win? Um, Hidden 2 is taking Bogdog to good old DA. And here we go. Let's get right into it. So pretty standard, we're making forges. We're doing normal stuff, we're taking our 15s. Uh, note the variation of this, where they're basically barely taking the 15s, but they can't really push the 10s with these 15s. But they do it. Um, on another note, Bakhtag decided to go for a little more production rather than position, but doesn't seem to affect him too badly here. Um, a missed snake on him too here, where he's gonna basically um, lose a couple- Oh, he's gonna get it, but he's gonna lose a little bit more morale than he probably would have liked to there. Um, other than that, ooh, a bold move. Is he gonna get the third up in time? Ooh, he does not, so it ends up just being morale for him too. Um, then he goes into this. Oh, not going into that. He's just going for a little misdirected to the forge, which he doesn't isn't able to do. Um, oh, a great fourth. He just didn't have enough troops. You always got to be careful of the fourth. Make sure if even if you get fourth, you'll have enough troops to use a third in. So he ends up getting that, but at what cost? As Octox is going for the third here. Yeah, he's just going past everything, and oh, man, it seemed to have worked. Um, yeah, no, this game, yeah, you can't really come back from this. Your production's gone. Like, yeah, you have great position on his, but if he defended that, it would hit and wins. But that was kind of an all-out play by Bok talking and then it's working. <laughs> Is it? Hmm, interesting. Did not know that. I will try to avoid being copyright, <laughs> or copyright suit, or whatever the suit would be. But yeah, all right. Well, that will be today's tournament. Let's really look at what's happened here. Honestly, a lot of great games happened today. Um, so let's see here. Um, first off, let's a little, a little bit gotta flex myself a little bit. But let's look. How did how do I do here? So we had here I am. So we got one, two. Okay, three wins and an almost fourth win against the winner. I, I just like to I just like to state for the record, this is I think every single tournament, whether it be a big tournament or just like a casual tournament, every time I lose, the person who beats me wins. So if you beat me, it's good luck. So that's hilarious. <laughs> um Also, this is another time where on the person who won. I had the most. Oh no no no! Wait, you know, yeah, I had the most games on him. That's hilarious! Wow, that's a that's a feels good man. So he essentially got second. I, I said yeah, second place. Uh, pseudo second. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> but um, congrats to Valtok for winning, and honestly, congrats to him too for getting second. That's amazing. Um, he's definitely uh. One of my favorite players. I, I used to scrim with him a lot before I think I got busy, but love the guy. He's so nice. Great player. Doing a lot of fun things. I can't wait to see him in the finals, but uh, free. Kind of a little heartbreaking, but listen, next tournament, that's yours. Well, it's mine and yours, of course. But yes. Anyway, um, yeah. I guess, um, is there any other matches you guys want to see? I'll leave it out here for like a minute or two, or else I think I'm gonna wrap up because I gotta actually do things today. <laughs> I'll slowly go through more up here. Well, getting two games off for you was pretty interesting. I thought for you with of uh, three one to. But this is pretty good. In two. Great job. So you're gonna have steps in. Most games on Bong Talk. Amazing. Yeah, alright, cool. If no one. I'll leave it up here for two more minutes, but I think I'm probably gonna end the stream unless someone wants to see a specific match.
Thank you, Sexy Dora. I appreciate you liking the stream. <laughs> Uh, hello, official Special Boards 2 again. Uh, we are just wrapping up. Unless someone wants to see a specific match, I think I'm going to end the stream because I'm going to do things today. I'm a very busy man. <laughs> I'll give it to the top of the hour and then we will wrap up the stream. But yeah, um, this was super fun. So hopefully people enjoyed this. Um, Sad, uh, again, very, very happy that the person I lose to always was the tournament, so it's very nice, but yeah, hopefully, um, if you have any, if anyone has, like, feedback, because if you want to hear more reaction-based kind of casting, or if you want more kind of analysis of the games, just let me know. I could do that for next time, but yeah. Yeah. Gotta man, I gotta I gotta protect the brood or the squad of my my pack of bellies, bro. I gotta graze a little bit, man. I'm kinda hungry. Alright. Well, since no one is doing anything, I just like thank everyone for spending some time with me today to look at this. Really appreciate it, and hope you guys appreciated it too. Um, hopefully, um, next time we have another big tournament, I'll actually have the time to stream again, because this was very fun. But yeah, so, thank you guys for stopping by, and great tournament, and I will see you all next time. Bye!